Okay, hey there YouTube, welcome, welcome. Let's just see if this is working. All right, this is looking good. Perfect, okay. So uh, yeah, we're back. I don't have work today, I'm still really tired because I have been uh, working quite a bit lately, but um, finally have a day off. So we'll hopefully be recovered by some point. But um, yeah, this is uh, the same party as we had last week, except I've leveled on up. So we're level 11 with our party here. And this is the concept that I sort of want to be going for, for with uh, Wrath of the Righteous. And this is sort of when you get a bit of a payoff here. Um, so there are some changes that I do want to make with this build and uh, before we head into Wrath of the Righteous. And hopefully it'll be a little bit stronger as a result of that. The big thing that I want to do here is uh, I'm going to be switching out the archetypes uh, for Hadrian and uh, Quebec over here. Quebec I think would be better off as the uh, tactical leader and Hadrian I think would be better as the flat inquisitor. Um, I also think that I want to have one less animal companion potentially. Three is good. I don't necessarily feel if I know I need three. Um, Obviously, uh, Ur, uh, Uruk over here is going to be someone who's got access to the, their animal companion. If you're going to go with the uh, Mad Dog uh, outflank sort of combo, you're definitely going to want to have an animal companion uh, on that character. Uh, it's kind of actually like a major part of that build. Uh, if we drop one, I think we drop Quebec's because I don't necessarily feel as though I'd need that necessarily. The reason that I would potentially keep this is that it would be... Probably the, um, what's it called, domain, the uh, animal domain would be replaced with the community domain. And Quebec's already a little bit multi-attribute dependent, so I probably wouldn't be able to switch her out to someone who can just take a lot of wisdom. But nice thing about Animal Companion is that I don't need any wisdom score to really take that. The other option is I could go plant domain instead of animal with uh, Constantine here, but I don't think that that's something I really want to do there. So we could also just end up with that all those um, all those animal companions. So I do want to show what the team can do here. I've been playing uh, this version of the game uh, on turn-based mode, so I can sort of better see how each character is performing. Um, but yeah, one of the big things uh, about this composition. Uh, you've got basically our main hero here, Constantine, for healing support and for uh, protection and uh, doing a couple other little things there. They've got their animal companion, they can deal a lot of good damage. Uh, they've got the ability to put up a lot of summons uh, as meat shields, so they're kind of doing those sort of duties there. Got crowd control mostly from Jericho here, who's a blaster wizard, so just throwing down the fireballs. Um, her here just goes in and like smacks down things that uh, get in too close. She's pretty good at that in conjunction with the um, the little animal here. What I'm probably going to do for Ur's build, I'm going to get rid of the three levels of Sacred Huntsmaster, and instead I'm just going to go straight Ranger with the two levels of Mad Dog. And what that's going to do is make it so I advance Ranger a lot faster. Um, and if we've got uh, the ability to get Tactical Leader on Quebec here, I think that that's going to be a lot better for just throwing down outflank on everybody in general and not having to worry about taking the feats uh, on her here so that we also would progress our uh, two weapon fighting a little bit faster. So that's what I'm thinking there. We'd also have uh, our melee tank here. He's fine. Um, would like it if I could find some tower shields that I liked uh, at a level where I had actually taken the tower shield uh, proficiency, but we probably... I'm not sure if I will. It's hard to tell. Um, it would be a pretty good increase to our armor class in some ways, but we've already got a plus four, so it would be like an extra one with a bunch of penalties. Um, tank builds are doing okay, uh, at, as is usual on this difficulty. That it's not actually fun. that easy to uh, consistently tank, but yeah, let's go show you guys what this uh, comp can do. One of the things I'm thinking about changing really also is the formation. I've got the animal companion sort of up front as kind of meat shields, but this, this composition doesn't have mage armor. And uh, I can't get mage armor on Jericho, so... Kind of stuck. The only way I could really do it is that um, the potions of mage armor are pretty plentiful, as are the scrolls. So it should be pretty possible for me to uh, get to where I'm going with that. Um, okay. So I had gone through quite a bit of this place. We've got... You can see where I fought stuff uh, earlier because there's like this guarded hearth still here. 
this is giving me a like big bonus to attacks uh, and saves here. And that's part of the community domain. It's like the actual defining feature of uh, Erastal is being able to do that. Because he's the only community domain deity in the game. Plus wisdom uh, to like everything to everybody in the radius. Alright, so ready. you can tell in these levels like what is going to be coming up here. So we're going to go ahead and cast uh, resistance to electricity communal. Um, at this level we should be getting plus 30. Um, so I don't need that on autocast. We will cast it though. Uh, I can get a lot of damage out from uh, Quebec here. We're going to focus her as one of our big recipients of our spells here. Also, upgrade her. Knowledge is the key to victory. I've got some other things that I can cast here, but let us not hesitate. Not one hundred percent sure what I feel like I need right now. It's been a little while since I played this uh, this file. So. The way we built this character is very much similar to how we built um, Tristan in the main campaign. Uh, so a plus the third, uh, basically using summons and stuff like that. The road calls. Uh, I'll take the bait. Could cast lead blades here. I took plant domain with this. That gives me enlarge uh, as a swift as a um, inquisitor thing. It's pretty powerful. Adventures await. Um, try and just remember here. Yeah, those don't really work here. Um, keep your wits about you. I will cast this. Let us bide our time. But this is the character that sort of um. I think we'll just cast bless. I will I'll use this, this one. Then I'll use... Do I want to use Divine Favor or Divine Power? Let's use Power. Just go all out showing you what that character can do, because that's kind of our premier single target damage dealer of this group. Alright. So we're going to have Quebec start firing away at this uh, Smilodon here. 2023 from the mini shot, and then we'll see the rest of those shots there. All right, so that was well over 100 damage, pretty sure. Uh, let's see here, 43, 66, 88, yeah, 110. And we're only level uh, 11, so that's a pretty good amount of damage. Um, got a whole bunch of these metamagic rods here on our wizard, which is always a good thing. Um, it's probably just chucking a lesser maximized fireball. Slot on past, tree didn't, nymph didn't. Got a good amount of damage off on all that. All that. It's actually, uh, I'm not too scared of this room, honestly. I think we just let stuff that's happening sort of keep happening. Finish off that smile it on there. And any damage the dog does also sort of attributable to Quebec, which is nice. Um, sure, let's do that. Get rid of their caster. They tend to summon stuff. All right, have elk charge in. The reason I have elk is because it's actually got the sort of like spirited charge ability. It means it does double damage on the charge. Which is quite good. Let's have you not stealth. We're using our animal companions sort of as meat shields anyway, so having them run in like that. Although I do like having them survive. Oops, that was a not space bar. All right. Would like some way to make our tanks a little bit faster though. All right, so we get a pretty good view of like how much damage is coming from each individual character here, which I like. This is why I like turn base mode. Makes it easier to see who's doing what. Um, gonna cast this here, just so we've got something in the way of the Mastodons. Alright, Jericho, let's have you. I feel like this thing was weak against fire. Not 100% sure of that. Do I have any Scorching Rays? No, I've got Hellfire Ray though. I think I just fire one with this. It's not a very good spell. Let's see how it does. 
Yeah, like if we compare the single target damage from Jericho compared to what we were outputting with our archer, our archer is clearly stronger. I'm just gonna go in behind these skeletons with Ur. And that's about it. Uh, you know, let's just pile in on the Mastodon. Probably could have charged, but... Uh... Okay, I can't get the multi-shots out. Let's just reposition up to here. And we'll fire off a shot here. Forwards. Not bothering to use my judgments here because they've only got one enemy left anyway. No fear. Right, Hadrian, get in there. Huh, he actually hit. We can do it. So did so did our both our tanks hit. Alright. Animal companions getting absolutely wasted. I think they're alive though. Alright, Constantine, get up here. Uh, looks like might be one of them's dead. No, uh, just only one downed is a uh, leopard. A lot of healing there. Okay, let's uh, get you over here. Let's just let her see if she can get in there. Not really. So what we can potentially do here... Use this. Out of my way! This is why that enlarge is nice. Because of outflank, critical hit means that uh, a bunch of people got attacks of op against it for free. Which is really nice. Oh, Smilodon's dead. Oh no, wait, that's not my Smilodon. Completed. Alright. Shock Scythe plus two. So yeah, I think that we've got a decent amount of damage output on this group here. Our duty calls. Kinda wanna do another stabbed. heal here. I don't necessarily need all these bone shakers. Let's heal up leopard a little bit more. And uh how are we looking? Right, we got a lot of hit points on that thing. Uh Vine Trap I don't really care about right now, but Death Ward is probably not necessary on this floor. I'll need it on other floors probably. Wow, that was a really bad roll. Uh, just not rolling well in these heal checks. Alright. Good enough. Okay. Without a doubt. I'm Shouldn't have slowed down there. I should have uh, tried to make use of that divine power for another fight. But... Go ahead and use just Divine Favor here. If I really want to hit with her, I can also use a Greater Invisibility. Giant Flytrap and a Nymph. We should prepare. Aim carefully! Okay. So I don't want you guys necessarily moving out too far here. In fact, I think we're going to have you guys hold position at this point. Quebec, opening fire. Should be fine. Oh. Or not. Okay, let's fire at the slightly closer one. Ooh, we missed. Critically. Okay, we rolled a one, so. Yeah, she's got some damage reduction there. Okay, fine. Let's use another maximized fireball. Could throw in a quick in here. This is where Jericho kind of excels. Because if we think about how much damage we've just done there, it's like 200. Okay. Oh, wait. That guy had an attack of op there. Looks like we're fine. Um. That trap just has some range on it, jeez. Okay. This thing must have combat reflexes. 
and uh, uncanny dodge. Deepest fear. Okay, so let's move these guys up. So I have Constantine use our cure spell. Heal us up from that trap there. Alright, err. She gets staggered or something? She's moving slow. Alright, let's move to there. Oh no, we've clogged up the thing. That was why she couldn't move. Okay, our tanks are in the way. That's fine. Uh, a bunch of people have gone blind, probably. Fantastic. Alright, Jericho, uh... Only five foot step, and then do something. Maybe I can Hellfire Ray that? No, out of range. Burning Arc? Nope. Magic Missiles? Probably just have to Magic Missile here. There are other things I could technically do, but... Do I not even have that? I might not have line of sight or something. Or I'm staggered. Yeah, I'm staggered. Okay, that's fine then. Staggered here as well. Probably. Okay, get back. Alright, what's blocking my line of sight this badly? Uh, Alright, well... Shouldn't matter too much here. A bunch of us have been crushed and despaired. Who are you? A boogeyman? Well, that's different. So right, let's get in on this. this. Attack it a bit. He's blind, but we'll just uh, get over here. I thought I was immune to fear with paladins, but... In fact, I'm pretty sure I am. Alright, pretty good. Do we get snowballed here or something? Are we staggered? I think we started the turn staggered. Okay. I feel like we send a couple people over against this boogeyman here. Oh, I got an attack. That's interesting. Alright, 9 versus 9, 13 damage. Hopefully we can trip him. Roll the 1. Okay, I think there's just a bug with our interface here. Maybe not. It's hard to tell here. Okay. Yeah, there's something wrong with it. No, I th I'm pretty sure I was staggered here. Yeah, now it's fixed. Okay, I'd have to proper move to get that one. Same with there. Let's just get you to a nicer spot. Attack. Good damage. Oh, jeez. I think Dog's dead. Alright, do I have enough time? I'll just have to resort to brute force! So I have to get over there in Breath of Life, that guy. Not Ur. This is potentially a little bit of a problem. Um, yeah, we passed our will save. The problem here is that Ur is trying to take this. Let's do this. 
There we go. Back to life. Let's just have you swing again, I guess. There we go. Some luck there. How did this guy get sneak attack, I wonder? Alright, we got a couple crits. Nice. Odds are pretty good he's gonna down one of us again, though. Uh, what's our highest damage single target? That we got right now. I don't think Chain Lightning's gonna work against him. Um, Lesser Maximize. Magic Missile. Quicken. Alright, well, that's some more damage. Ooh. Alright, Quebec. I feel like this guy's the more dangerous of the two. Let's go ahead and actually activate these. I think this is actually a boss fight. I just wasn't uh, taking it seriously enough. So I'll activate both of those. I should have maybe used Bane first. A solid plan. Ooh, he survived with like one hit. I only have one. Uh, I think I can get another one back, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to use it in time. We can do it. I'm gonna have to redo this fight, unfortunately. Okay, so we can get back Breath of Life with Bonded Holy Symbol. It's a free action. And then I have to Breath of Life him. Can't reach. Yeah, so I think he's dead, unfortunately. Gonna have to reload. So I have to take that fight a lot more seriously, just because that boogeyman is just kind of ridiculous. Oh man, I forgot to save after that other fight. That's fine, though. I wonder why he got to sneak attack, though. That's so weird to me. So what we're probably going to do is actually just drop down a guarded hearth there. And not run into the snowball trap this time, because that sort of mucked us up with that uh, stagger on everybody. Come back, let's. I'll go ahead. This one map, like there's this door here that everyone seems to be incapable of pathing through. All right. Our time has come. So we are still going to need our protection for energy here. Still need Bless, still want uh, this. I don't need Divine Power for this fight. This one's a lot easier. I forget actually, do you guys need... I thought these two had actually pretty much... Uh... Well, I could have definitely used Protection here. I, I wasn't thinking uh, that I was going to need it. Which is which is a problem that sometimes people have. All right, but I need. All right, what is your deflection? Is what I'm looking for here. Oh, you don't have any deflection. Never stop learning. All right, well, definitely this then. Should I check that in here as well? I think this guy does have a ring of protection though. Yeah, it's a plus three as well, so that wouldn't actually matter. Okay. Knowledge is the key to victory. Let's have you guys hold position again. All right, and through this door. We should move. A solid plan. Combat is adjourned. All right. Gonna do a lot less damage this round as compared to last time. Uh, unless we crit, which we did, so. The reason we would have, of course, been doing less is because, uh, not getting one whole shot off there. Alright, sounds like everyone passed their saves this time, which is unfortunate. 
except the tree, which is good. All right, I'm gonna have the have you delay till after the animal companions. Elk. Okay, 124 damage crit. I don't think it's actually supposed to calculate like that. I think that's a. They're they're using something weird of the rules there, which they're not supposed to. But All right, I guess we're just going in on the tree. Ant. Oops. Well, that's weird. All right. Need to use that little indicator that tells you whether or not you can actually cast something before uh, I, I, you use it a little bit more often or a little bit better. All right, we should have another go with just about everybody before the uh, tree ant goes again and the nymph goes again. All right, some skeletons have gone blind. That's fine. Chuck another fireball in here, probably. I don't know where the nymph is. Well, this fireball last time hit her, so... Alright, got two of them. Mastodon actually also failed to save. What I kind of want to do here is let the uh, skeletons start taking the hits here, so we're going to let that happen first. Forward. So I've just got, like, full everything before we get into this next fight. Doesn't mean it's going to be a little bit less of an exciting round, but... Sometimes your skeletons get really lucky here. Confirmed critical, too. That's kind of ridiculous. Okay. Let's just boost up Quebec's shooting here. Not that I think this thing's gonna survive to there. Um, skeletons, probably. Yep. It's really all this guy gets for attacks. I think we save our resources here. Don't need to use another charge there. Don't really want to wander through its uh, threatened area. Let's just have Quebec fire. I did get to back to Quebec only because I wanted it to though. Alright, well, it took all, all of our shots to do it, but got in the end. Okay, so, just leave the treasure for now. Focus on going through while our buffs are still active. Um, well, this one's like that, so we can just pop it and go. We should prepare. What I also feel would be good here is actually having her use Greater Invis. That might let her take out that one thing a bit faster, but... Uh, Together we I think what start. I'm more likely to be worried about is dropping Guarded Hearth here. Oh, I have to go through the door to do that. Um, and you know what, we'll, we'll do it on our turn. I, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Although, actually, uh, it's kind of it's kind of a hard call. All right, either way, sit still here. I think we throw skeletons at the boogeyman. That is not good movement. Um, there we go. Yeah, she reduces the damage by a lot, unfortunately, so... Still dealing about half her health there. Alright, let's throw another... of these down. And I may want to throw another one. Finish off one of them. I have 
take this a bit more seriously. What we do is we delay till after the uh, animal companions for this. I don't think anyone's got like a charge. Right, past our will save there. I might have actually blocked a charge from this guy, but. Yeah, he might have had a chance to charge, but it's fine. Deep Sphere passed. Nope, failed. Nope. Yeah, the, the elk failed. Okay. Um, okay, so our tanks are now free to move out a bit. Let's have you use resiliency and protection. There's something unusual. Yeah, we just barely are dodging out of that one. That's so close. Alright, Ur here. Probably should have cast C invisibility as well. Alright, let's get you down this way. way. Go plant chopping in a bit. Nightmare Skeleton Soldiers, I guess. There's the Boogeyman. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's actually kind of okay. Alright, so Dog took some hits. That's fine, though. Missed our attack there. So, Quebec, let's uh, see what you can do here. Let's activate these. Attack! Oof. Alright, took her out, took her summons out with it. That's good. The unfortunate thing is this fella here has decided he's gonna run past my front line and go after my casters, which I'm not super stoked about. Adrian's passing his will save, that's good. Let's get this up. Alright, we got some hits on that Venus flytrap. We can do it! Hopefully we just swarm this guy's skeletons a bit. Just going to try and sort of surround him so that he can't do what he wants. Um, Alright, you're alive again. You're fine. You big baby. This thing's a tough boss fight. Alright, you passed the will save against that Phantasmal Killer, which is good. Yeah, we gotta use our bigger Maximize Rod now. I can use Fire Snake here. I don't have a good angle on it, but this thing only hits uh, enemies, it doesn't hit friendlies. So this is probably one of my better damage ones for the Maximize. Uh... What? Right, well... Quicken... I think I hit the door and it stopped it moving. I guess. Dog's down. Skeleton's down. Alright, Leopard's still up. Okay, Quebec, let's also activate Bane. A solid plan. Alright, cool. 9,600 from the Boogeyman. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he is a tough boss. Alright, Leopard and Ur should be able to finish this thing off here. 
Uh, Hadrian's stuck here, I think. Wait, there's still a... Alright, I don't need to enlarge for this, I don't think. Let's hear you there we go. Okay, well that was different. And we didn't get the, uh... There's no rest spot here. I, that's not... What this level can serve as a boss? Holy shit. Let us press on. Okay, cool. I failed. Alright, what's the, uh... It's, uh, 33. Let There's actually a chance that if I roll a natural one... I actually, no, it should be... Fail. Is it more than 10 or is it exactly 10? Impossible. Well, with that, I'm guaranteed I to not explode, so... Let us bide our time. Impossible. It's also much... Our time has come. We should move. It's technically easier for me to succeed here. Together we stand. Done. There we go. Okay. I will guide us. Oh, that's the exit, though. Wow, okay. Yep. So we do want to use our rest before we uh, continue on. We've got one if we just go back up top. So yeah, I think this is a pretty effective composition. I don't necessarily know if uh, getting ambushed by a boogeyman is something that you should expect too often, or if it uh, is or not, but it sure is unpleasant when that happens. Jeez. I wonder if they're undead or if they're... I think they're fey, but... Glad Quebec is able to actually put him down this time. That Bane weapon property is really, really good. Okay. Not finding as many treasures as I would like this floor. Kind of hoping there'd be some more, but... Just want to do a quick loop around here, make sure I haven't missed any doors or anything. Oh, there's this thing. I'll take that on the way to the next floor, and I'll have to save Scum to do it. DC 30 is pretty high. Forwards. Yeah, I think we head out now. This map is really bad. I don't understand it. See, they try to go to that corner there instead of pathfinding correctly, as though they think they can go through that wall. Let us press on. Then there's these guys. I have no idea what they're doing. But this map has given me some problems like this a couple times. I don't know what it is about this one. Godspeed. This is the only time I've had anything like approaching this level of problem with pathfinding, though. Okay. Alright, so that is our group as it is. It's pretty effective so far. I want to double check our books here, make sure we got good spells perhaps. I could have used actually some better summons there, too. Never enough actions. Breath of Life. Once you get Breath of Life, things are so much better. Um, let's see here. I'll probably want to have like three or four castings of it, like with Reach Metamagic applied to it. Forwards. Okay, are we going to have to level? Probably, actually. Get a look at what these guys look like with their builds when we uh, do that. So I didn't really go into much detail with it. <clears throat> Let's get through the stupid choke point. Thank you, please. Like, it's this wall here. I wonder if there's, like, an... I wonder if they're implying that there's a way through this wall or something like that. That might be what's causing this. 
problem. There could be like a secret thing here that lets me go through there, but I think it's just something weird about the levels. Pathfinding. Alright. Here we go. Floor 19. Okay, so we got the purpley hazy kind of stuff, so this is going to be a illusions, confusion, and potentially gas kind of level, I if I recall. Falter. Didn't quite gain a level off that, but uh, actually didn't even come close. I guess we're getting comparatively less from floors now than we used to, 57,000. If we compare that to kind of the boogeyman, that's actually not as much uh, proportionally as we were getting before, not even close. It's kind of nice, actually. I kind of prefer getting it from the encounters rather than the other stuff. Oh, I forgot to do that uh, arcane thing on the way down here. Shoot. Oh, well. They're not actually worth very much experience points anymore. But, um... I'm gonna do a delay poison communal here. The reason is that it's, uh... Quite likely that this kind of floor is going to need that. I'm going to cast Sea Invisibility on Quebec at the very least here. Yeah, she needs Heroism. Her needs Heroism. Cast that. I might as well be doing this. What is our enhancement from this right now? It's plus four. How much natural have you guys got? two, and I think that this guy's also got two. No, he's got one. Okay, let's chuck that on him. Okay, bless. And before we head in here, let's use this. Looking like potential for traps here. Yep. There we go. Okay. Well, we know that there's actually a chance that we fail these these days. This would be a nice place to have those items I have in campaign, because my disable traps check is actually higher in campaign. 390 experience points for that. That's nice. Maybe I would have gotten a decent chunk from that, uh... Alright, what's going on here? Let us press on. Stand with me. Invisible stuff, okay. Well a doom spider. Apparently there's a quick spider back there. Uh, I think I can hit you both with a fireball. I don't need to meta magic this really. I'm just gonna actually chuck this at you, see what your hit points look like. Let's see here. It's actually not that high if that's taking out that chunk of hit points there. Move you to there. Okay, and I'm going to actually go ahead and use one of our better summons right now. We can get uh, D3 plus 1 Berlani. How come I can't? Oh, right, it's full round to do the uh, full summon, I forgot. Can't do that on surprise rounds. Skeletons are still good for that purpose, I guess. Let's see here. Should technically be able to charge through those, but could have probably should have just uh, done those slightly differently. I want to delay till after the skeletons in a certain sense there. Um, just so that they draw the aggro. I'll have you do the same sort of thing there. Actually, you can... I don't think we need buffs for these. I don't think they're that scary. There's gonna be some invisible thing that's like nonsense, but... 
what is irritating me about these fights is that I don't seem to have the ability to see invisibility against them. Like, see, see invisibility seems to do jack shit. Forwards. Which is kind of weird. Alright, let's just get you around there. Doesn't matter too much right now. Why are we only getting four magic missiles here? We're level 11, so I should be getting five. Aha, there's another one. Here they all come, okay. Strike with all your might. So missing three times is perfectly fine here. We're just swinging to get those uh, defensive combat bonuses. Get these skeletons moving, I guess. Sure. Okay, let's have you five foot, like, right up to here. Wow, okay. Er, I'm gonna have you move to here. Die! Damn it. Alright, well. Now we can do this. Let's move up a bit. Uh, actually, we're having a kind of hard time hitting these things. Let's use Guarded Hearth. So this will give us like a plus four to everything for everybody. Actually, it's probably more like a plus six, I think. Hells or Wisdom? Oh, plus eight. Okay. Help with our fortitude saves as well. Alright, so Quebec. Um... Uh... I don't really feel like I need Bane here. Aim Go after relief. this one. Focus it down. Managed to miss one of those anyway. Cool. There we go. Alright, Hadrian. Uh... You've made your choice. Just gotta get him in the way there. So let's try out Chain Lightning. I haven't had a chance to use Chain Lightning, really. Ooh, these have Evasion. That's not good. The one of them took a big hit, though. I like how he attacks the, the thing behind him <laughs> like that. Alright, well... We won't falter. Concealment, okay. I don't uh, understand that uh, choice at all, but okay. Uh, where's Ur? Ur's there. I want to use Dead, actually, from that. That was a good Chain Lightning. Okay. Out of my way. Yeah, those crits are pretty useful here. Okay. So Constantine, I could just Bone Shaker this one and probably kill it. Go get rid of that. We'll attack the skeleton. Wander on into the kill zone. Want to be five foot stepping forward here to get that point blank shot potentially. Attack. These things have good AC. Like it's actually kind of ridiculous how good their AC is because we've got the plus eight bonus for everybody. All right, well, whatever. So it comes to We're still not going to hit with our tanks. That's fine, though. Uh, Jericho, let's have you head up here. Magic missile it, maybe? Well, let's just shoot your crossbow at it. You might even kill it. No, three damage. Okay, well, I forgot about that part. <laughs> yeah, our Paladin's got some good hits on him at this point in time, sometimes. Godspeed. Okay. So apparently this is going to be invisible spiders everywhere. Without a doubt. So that's that's interesting. I actually probably didn't need the guarded heart that badly. Is this seriously a dead end already? Wow. Okay.
got a free rest, so if I need to, I can go take that, but... Okay. Well, let's try this way. I don't remember if this comp has... I don't remember if we've got advanced uh, scene, or group scene no visibility yet. In my way. This is my path. I don't think we do. Do have Archon's aura? I could be throwing that down. Um, do you have group scene visibility? Doesn't look like it. We should move. I think it's mostly just Quebec here that's being able to, that's capable of seeing quick, invisible quick. targets. Else we miss all the fun. Okay, well. But I've noticed this in campaign as well. It's just like. Even if you have seen invisibility, nothing seems to actually, uh, see it. These are probably drow. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> okay, what I do like is that they came in here kind of in a stupid way, but... They're probably all going to have evasion, and this is going to really irritate me. Alright, so we got some of them with some stuff. Let's go switch to this. Burning arc. Yeah, we'll throw out a quick burning arc here. Hold on. A natural one's miss the leopard, and then the leopard leopard just goes down to laughing. Cool. Uh, we got a corruption here. Cool. Let's try and kill this knife master, or at least trip him. That would be either of those would be good. Leopards or er, leopards down. Still, that's fine. I'm gonna use these. I want the knife master down. I think first. Spider Matriarchs are scary, but I think we're okay. Alright, good. Uh... Alright, we got our attack roll. That's all that matters. Get some more armor class. Let's get you in there as well. Something wrong with our elk here, and I don't know what it is, but... Hopefully it's nothing too serious. All right, let's uh, yeah, screw it. Let's try this out here. These things tend not to work very well. Now oh, we rolled minimum. That's fine though. All right, Jericho. I do want to deal damage quickly here, and a lot of it. So my hits. Alright, maybe if we get to here. Something like that, maybe? There we go. Uh, this ignores friendlies as well, so this is fine. Nice, okay. I'll throw out a quickened. Um... Nothing I can really do here that would knock it out of the fight, unfortunately. Hopefully they don't murder. Did they dominate one of us? I think they dominated one of us. Alright, Quebec. Activate Bane. Kill this thing. Ooh. This thing's got some armor class to it. Let's hear you cry. And we're rolling kind of lowish, but strike with all your might. Man, that combination of that and concealment is not doing as well. All right. Apparently, they're switching to bows. 
All right, uh, let's activate prayer. Oh yeah, uh, Jericho's dominated. Fantastic. Yeah, she just immediately mercs herself. That's cool. Okay, he's laughing. That's good. Draco's not dead, though, so that's fine. Alright, come back. Roll some better rolls than last time, because last time you were rolling nothing. Nope. Alright, well, cool. That is some concealment. Okay. Jeez. You've made your choice. Eh, just stay down. <laughs> yeah, these things don't have the to hit to get these guys. It's kind of fine. Um, still at minus six. You're not getting healed right now. Count as an enemy, but you're down. So. Yeah, murdering crap out of elk, that's fine. I need to do something to get a little bit more to hit out of this, but it's not much I can do. What if I went for you? You've got all those mirror images, though. Attack. Them taking out our caster like is what really hurts here. Out of my way. I think I can kill you with Bone Shaker now, though. No. <laughs> Also, just need potentially a natural 20 or whatever, but we can't even get through concealment. Is this a higher than 50% or it is 50%? I just managed to miss five in a row with it. That's amazing. Alright, let's just try and bone shaker this guy. 14 damage for the kill. Alright, cool. Are you still dominated? Probably. person who would be best at dealing with this nonsense is unfortunately down. Solid plan. Wow. It's still a 50% by the way. Run them through. All right. We can do it. Start getting around there, I guess. I'll just have to resort to brute oh. force. Hopefully there's no trap on the other side, but yeah, these summons are weird. <laughs> They've got some issues. Um, what could I be doing here? I think I just want to heal. Um, Jericho's getting healed again. It's no longer dominated, it looks like. Let the attack commence! Yeah, she'll probably die if this goes poorly. Immune to magic missiles. He must have shield on him. Alright. Well, he's <laughs> apparently not immune to attacks of up. The fact that we managed to hit him through all that is uh, impressive to me. Done. Okay, what have we got here? I think that's a robe of fire, which... Um, Sensor's robe, that's a little bit different than I thought it was. What's this do? Well, that's not very good. Plus two armor class. And then two castings of Dispel Magic as a wizard. Which is, like, meh. Alright, let's, uh... This composition's working, though. Pretty happy with it. Let us bide our time. I'm trying to remember what you would need to like bypass dominates. Normally you can sort of get around that with like protection from evil, but I think that's a 3.5 thing. I'm not sure if that's true anymore. I will guide us. In Pathfinder. I'm more, I, I play I play mostly 3.5. 
We should prepare oh, wow, this the path really doesn't want you to get at that Magus. All right. Our time has come. The road awaits. Done. All right, good enough. How are we doing here? If I wanted to, I could try to level before we uh, do this, but I've got a free rest up top, so... If we had the wizard for the entire fight instead of letting her get dominated, we would have had a much easier time with that. Alright, Drow Magus Master, what have you got for us? Um... Wait, what? Oh, I remember. They they enchant theirs. They've got like the ability to use magic weapon, which for some reason is not a spell in this game. Um, did I check you? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. What I need to find is like some more heavy armors. Like they give you these really fantastic shields in this place, but observe the others, learn from their mistakes. I stand ready. Um, we should move. Knowledge is the key to victory. Together we stand. Okay, it's kind of the basics of things. I, I still think that delayed communal poison is useful since this place just sort of like loves putting gas all over everything. Um, I wish that Magic Fang was what it was supposed to be, which is like an hour per level. That's what would make that truly, truly amazing. Um, I feel like that's the... Those, we've sort of cast the like long-lasting buffs, the ones that we're going to have up like all day, basically. Falter. Or the whole adventure sort of thing, like 50 minutes, uh, 2 hours, whatever. Um... Not seeing any elemental stuff on this floor necessarily, so I don't worry about that. So I think Adventure that so we kind of got what we need already. I could uh, upgrade your weapon though. Let's use divine weapon bond. Have you got defending yet? It's defaulting to holy. I don't really want holy. Not on this floor. Axiomatic might work on this floor. Speed might be good. I'm just going to go with generic uh, plus two or plus three or whatever. Th every three beyond fifth. Uh, we actually, uh, yeah, we're getting three. Okay. I so he should actually have a fairly big weapon right now. Yeah, 20, 15, 10. It's a pretty good attack routine. Especially considering she's getting like plus 17s. Mm. She gets a lot more attacks though. And a bigger flank bonus, so... Works out. Let us not hesitate. Right, we'll cast Blessed real quick. It lasts long enough. I've got like nine castings of it. I, shall not I cast the Invisibility. It's never worked for us, but... I probably need to have it like cast on Communal. I wish I could find a... Nope. Oh. There's a spider. We should prepare. Skulls away from us. I'm not expecting this to be too hard of a fight, but you never know. There might be a bunch of stuff behind us. What do, what do these guys have for armor class? They have a 35 flat-footed. They must have uncanny dodge, though, because they've still got their dex bonus on that. Oh, that's why. Okay. Uh... I don't really know where the other ones are, but I'm kind of guessing if I throw it here, I might get some more dudes. I'm not going to maximize this or anything. Has to save. No one else there. Okay. Cool. Go after these guys. Uh, I don't want to be close enough that they can attack me from that ledge there. I want them to have to come down from the ledge. Uh, I'm just gonna have you give a bonus to Quebec there. If they've got that uncanny dodge, I might need bonuses, but we'll have plus five to our hit compared to last time on our next turn, so. 
can move you up here. If they decide to attack him from the ledge, that's kind of fine. I forgot to use his ability, though. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. Hmm. I feel like there's like a prime time for like there to be a bunch of drow archers that just sort of show up over here or whatever. Oh wow, he is fast. Okay, so that's gummed up there enough, I think. It's like Doom Spider over there, okay. I don't think I can actually attack that. I think that we're just gummed up here. Okay, there's another one on the way apparently. Um, so the Doom Spider, I think, is probably going to end up being like easier to hit, but like deal more damage. So I'm going to go ahead and pop our judgments. Get plus three to hit. We've got plus five to hit compared to last turn. Forwards. Ooh. Look at that. That was some freaking armor class. Okay, another spider just popped in. Uh, it seems like they can't really do anything from there, though. Uh, what if we pop some skeletons behind these guys? I think that might be a good idea. Give them something to think about. He's only hit on natural 20s, of course, but, like, that's not the point. Sheer number of attacks for one thing. Uh, let's just move slightly away from those guys. There. No fear. Yeah, I can't reach them very easily. Let's hear you cry. Let's cast enlarge person on yourself like proper. So I got that from a couple sources. Let's just have you there. All right, Jericho. Um. So I'm pretty sure these guys have evasion, but the Doom Spider I think does not, so... Okay, I think the first one has spell resistance. It only has 13 though, and I rolled a 1, so... Yeah, Dog I think is dead. No, he's unconscious, nice. Okay, well that does mean that he's still in the way, but so is everyone else here, that's fine. Wait till Elk goes down as well, I guess. There's another one over there. Alright, let's activate Bane. Aim carefully. Huh. <laughs> nothing, nothing, instant kill. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Oops, shoot. Well, that's not good. Uh, that should be fine, though. Um, okay. You've made your choice. Die! Wow. All right, these guys have got some armor Shut class to them. Okay, so I don't think Jericho can realistically do much here. <laughs> so they've got too much uh, like evasion and nonsense. Uh, let's just try it, I guess. Uh, I don't think these ones had uh, magic resistance, though. Yeah. Probably need to throw down some more summons and stuff like that here. Um, Attack! Nice. Quebec being our absolute monster of damage dealing. 
I can't tell which spiders are dead here and which ones aren't. Alright, Constantine. Uh, more skeletons, I think. Uh, we could actually check out your, like, top form summon, I guess. See if it's any good right now. I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones where we want to have, like, multiples of, though. Because I'm pretty sure it's just, like, an elf. Yeah, it's just, like, you summon a dude. Hello, dude. Apparently there's a mite in here. Unless that's a, sum that's a symbol for the guy that is an axiomite. That doesn't look like that at all. Alright, well, whatever. So it comes to this. Alright. Out of my way. Yeah, I need to get those flank bonuses by getting my uh, fellow in there. We won't falter. Still hitting on twenties. <laughs> uh good. Alright, they're breaking through the front lines here. Clogging themselves up still, though. Yeah, let's just pause there. Okay. So the Doom Spiders are the ones that I have to worry about, I guess, for damage. And it's the uh, Quick Spiders that are just impossible to kill. So I think we focus on killing the Doom Spiders while they're not in melee combat. Not great. Alright, let's uh, throw some... No, actually, I don't think I need any more skeletons. Uh, I could start spamming Bone Shaker. Just on the Doom Spiders, maybe? See if they're likely to... Well, they take a decent amount of damage from that regardless. It's not great, but... He actually has an okay chance of hitting, all things considered. But I'm more going to be interested in seeing like how tanky he is. You know, just a lot of averages. You'd think I'd roll some 20s here, but... Alright. Uh, again, these guys have SR, so I don't want to be using uh, spells on them. Is there another Doom Spider up there? I think that is a new Doom Spider. <laughs> Alright, well, cool. Takes a crit immediately, fantastic. Uh, Leopard, I'm actually going to delay you right now. I think we can get in after this uh, other fellow here. There's just a lot of Doom Spiders here. Forward. Nice. These are worth 3,210 experience each? What the hell? <laughs> I just looked at that. <laughs> He's taking uh, some hits, though. Alright. Um, if they're going all the way around there to do, like, basically nothing, I'm kind of fine with that. Um... I sort of want to use this for no good reason, but I don't think that would be useful. Uh, let's just Bone Shaker again, I guess. Oh wait, these are the spell resistant ones. Yeah, shoot. Okay, well, he's got <laughs> he's got Regen. That's that's like really really lovely. Okay, so I've got the five foot step here. Uh, I probably shouldn't have moved this far actually, but what we're trying to do is just make room for Leopard get in here so I can now flank with a uh, Ur. Right, let's have Hadrian attack up here, that way he might draw aggro up there. If if our summon isn't doing that still, which he might be. Alright, well we have got more to hit now that we're flanking using this buddy, but... We can do it. Yeah, I can't really fire up there, that's fine. Quick spider... Ouch. Don't you have spider... Don't you have, like, other things to chomp on? Uh, go after... This one. Aim carefully. Yeah. Pretty poor round. Ouch. 
Interesting. Okay. I think we do this now. Huh. 13. All right. Nice crits. You've made your choice. I really need to stack some more bonuses on Ur, I think. <laughs> Not that we can hit anything anywhere ever, but uh, thanks game. Alright, there we go. Oh wow, okay. Quite surprised about that one. There's that damage we're looking for, okay. Just lie there, it's fine. Okay, a bit more healing. Is this thing gonna hit? I really wish you would, because I want to see what his damage output looks like. But sometimes you just don't have the luck for it. Alright, let's have you stay there, I think. So it comes to this! Pretty much fine there. All right. So these things have enough SR that I can't easily bypass it. Um, could use animal growth. It's a net positive to our to hit rolls as well as armor. Uh, we'll try it. See what it looks like. It's not any bigger, which is weird. A solid plan. Okay. Let us press on. That uh, brought us pretty close to a level, which I kind of figured it might. I think that someone's actually going to get killed by the uh, poison, which is kind of funny. Ooh. Yeah, there he goes. This is what happens when you get when you just summon a dude. All right, half plate of will. What's that do? Plus three resistance on will saving throws. Okay, it's heavy armor, but since it's such a high bonus, it could potentially be better than our adamantium plus two, which is what we're using. We're using like these plus twos because that's technically the same as a plate mail plus one, but it also has some other benefits for being adamantium. Uh, so this would be an extra point of armor class. No, it would be the same armor class, sorry. Um, but it would get us the plus three resistance on will saving throws. I don't think we need that. Not really. Time has come. Let's just go ahead and heal up dog with calming touches. Oh, no, no. You didn't need one. We've got nearly unlimited healing re resources. It doesn't mean I should waste them. I don't have actually unlimited healing resources, is the thing. Yeah, Dog's still the uh, one here who's hurting. This is when you just, like, give your dog pats and it feels better. Sure, just patting the dog on the back there. Alright. Yeah, full health. Alright. Alright. I feel like what they've done is they've coded a bunch of these encounters to have like really high stealth checks instead of coding them as being invisible. And they should have coded them as being invisible so that the invisibility was something that does something. Alright. Uh, apparently this room is also a dead end. So wait, what's that leave us with? Leaves me with, I must have missed something somewhere. Forwards. The way forward in this place is like, you have to pass through an illusion, I'm gonna be... Oh, no, here we go. Alright, so I want to throw down a quick save here.
Oh, that was uh I shall not fail. Interesting. A solid plan. Only have four uses of Bane left. Um it's probably fine. Let's do I can't use Greater Invis against the quick spiders. Um I stand ready. Missed, yeah. That uncanny dodge is what really really hurts us against them. Um, this, on the other hand, like these guys uh, are plenty fireballable. All right, except for their you know high reflex saves and evasion. Still, they're not at least uh, spell spell resistant. I have like high enough. Uh, oh, we got one of them. Um, like the saving throw DCs on these is a twenty four, so they actually have a chance of failure. It's just sort of annoying that they never do. Um, oh, what the hell! All right, well, if I can't get up there and attack, I might as well try and find a way to increase our to hit rolls, I guess. That's just true strike so I get the mini shot off next turn. Could charge in here. I don't think that that's a really smart idea. I think we let them come to us. Should still have our weapon enchantment there. Uh, they're immune to Archon's aura. No, I don't think they are actually. This isn't mind influencing, I don't think. Yeah, let's use Archon's aura. All right, let's just chuck some skeletons out in front of us. Give those to chew on for the skeletons there. Giving up basically our entire like surprise around here. Oh, he, he, he wasn't full health. Interesting. All right, let's do this. Move him up. He's only got like three... To one of his resistances here. I think we can still try this. Okay, something died. The Doom Spider died. Quick spiders are a real pain in the ass. Alright. Uh, I'm going to delay you so that you go about the same time as her. In fact, let me have you lead your way in there again. Alright, come back. There's not a ton else that I can do here. Let's just fire. Um, I'll use the rest of my Bane. We'll go rest after this one. Forward. Don't you have another shot there? Oh, you missed. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have a bunch of people delay till just after the spider here. Not Chi though. Want him up there getting uh, attacked. Wow, all ones. Not really, but still. Don't really think Guarded Hearth is necessary here. Let's run out a large fire elemental. Just for the heck of it. This isn't really a useful spell for us, honestly, but. I think with the way things are right now, we're kind of okay just letting things play out a bit. See if we can't pick some more of them off with arrows. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Are you a Doom Spider? Or you're a Doom Spider. Okay. Uh, let's get the Lesser Maximize for. No, let's not bother that. Um. Let's try doing this. Let's 
guaranteed damage. Oops. Well, it's fine. We didn't need those skeletons. Yeah, they need natural 20s to hit us. Uh... Aim carefully! These quick spiders are damned annoying. Alright. Uh... Yeah, I don't need Breath of Life here. I think we just keep attacking. Strike with all your might! Yep, skeletons are still crap. That's fine. Uh... Ooh. Nice hits. Sort of waiting for them to potentially break through our first line here. Which uh, seems to be about happening. Not quite yet. No fear. Take some guaranteed damage. Doomspire thinks it's resistant to something there. I'm not sure what. All right, Quebec, take us home. Attack. Or not. Okay, or do. You know. If you are going to, then, you know, go ahead. Alright, Chi. Get on in there. Take the swing and miss. Uh, I don't really want to get you in there. I think that that's sort of enough on this one thing for now. Um, nah, it's fine. Who do you hit? Skeleton. Okay, do I have any spells that don't require SR? Eh, I'm just gonna chuck my ease at you for no no good reason whatsoever. Oh, I can't even do that here. Okay, fine. Let's get, uh, let's get Jericho positioned, I guess, or Quebec. Forward. Nice. Each hit gives him, like, a little bit more armor class as well, so he really does start racking up, uh, tankiness. Okay, Fire Elemental, can you do something? No. Out of my way. Hmm. Our odds of hitting were not so bad there, we just rolled kind of low. Yeah, he needs natural 20s to hit us too, so. Dunk. Pretty much nothing costs us basically nothing. It's fine. There we go. Alright. Oh yeah, we're slowed here. That's pretty bad. Okay, I kind of want to go till we get another level before we, uh... pop out to do anything. Uh, we only need... several thousand more. <laughs> Let's see here. Yeah, the fact I've got to go over this terrain on my own here is not ideal, but... So I'm out of Bane Weapon. I'm not going to have an easy time getting through anything anymore. It's a lot of extra damage. Hmm. Yeah, I may have to rest up, because uh, we may also have another tough fight, who knows. Okay.
What I would love to know is if, like, ever... Do we ever get new gear? Because I've been sort of bothered by that this entire time. Is the store... Like, they never sell anything new. And I find, found that in the campaign as well. But you unlock new merchants and stuff like that. I feel like if you're trying to have stuff that, like, isn't... ...findable, you're in a lot of trouble in this game. Uh, I don't see anything super different than what was already here. Right, well, we don't... It's a plus three, though. Maybe we keep that. Uh, can anyone use that? He can't. You can't. You can't. Is Polkata exotic? It probably is. Yeah, it is. Regular old spear plus three, though. Um, is this a one-hander? It's a two-hander. It's unfortunate. Yeah, nothing really for us here. I kind of think that the uh, adamantium is a little bit better than the will save bonus right now. Still keeping that because I still am thinking about taking tower shield proficiency. It's probably it's probably really eh, it's probably really not that useful because it's not giving us much more armor than our current uh, regular heavy shields. It's just we got such nice heavy shields. Thirty-two thousand. Okay, we could buy more meta magical oh. rods. So that's about it. I feel like um, we probably pop down a guarded hearth pretty early on this next fight here. But I won't use the big one, I'll use the smaller one. Wait, where are we going here? Uh, yeah, this way. Let us buy our time. So he had Guarded Hearth as well. I, should, I need to be using this more, like Litany of Eloquence. Although everything we're fighting is mind, immune mind influencing effects here. We should prepare. So it really wouldn't uh, help us that much. I will see this through. Alright. I think that's good enough. Oh shoot. Okay, we're going to be missing out on some Guarded Hearth here unless we just fight right in this corridor. Which might be happening kind of anyway. Uh, you see invisibility here. Okay. Um. The road calls me. I'll take the bait. Line fireball just down the corridor there. Well, we got someone. There's a boss in here, so <laughs> that was lucky. Right, Quebec. Forwards. Let's activate these. I forgot to activate those. You know, we're basically gonna have to fight in this corridor, which is kind of fine. Don't need to worry about that guy just yet, or that. I actually kind of peeled back with a couple of our animal companions. They're going to be a bit too in the way, I think, for this fight. We'll leave Leopard up, but we'll bring back Elk, I think. Uh, are you a Doom Spider? Yeah. 
Okay, I'm not that scared of Doom Spiders right now. We've got another plus like three to hit from uh, whatever, so Bane's not necessary. We'll try and hold on to it for the boss thing. Aim carefully. Ooh, wow. Yeah, their armor's still pretty high. Well, this thing actually took a ton of damage just from a fireball. So maybe he's not going to be that tough. Better not have evasion. He's going to have evasion, isn't he? Just freaking died. Doom Spider's got... <laughs> Alright, well, that, there goes the boss thing. I wonder why he's so squishy compared to everyone else. Yeah, did not overcome the spell resistance. We rolled a 1 again, damn it. To be fair, he must have rolled really low to fail the saving. He rolled a 1 too. <laughs> yeah, he's got a plus 16. Alright, let's get you out of here. Get, get you out of the way. Is that guy standing on top of the pillar or something? Must have rolled maximum on skeletons. Alright. Uh, I don't think there's anything we need to do here. I think we're in a good position. I think we can just sort of win. Oh, there's more stuff. Okay, well, that changes things a little bit. Let's see if we can't find out who's down there. Uh, another Drow Magus Master. Those guys are kind of bad news, actually. Well, if we had our dog kind of like hunting them down, I'd have to wait till after Hadrian. Hmm. Hop to there for a second. Yeah, Hadrian's sort of just in the way, as are all these skeletons. It's kind of fine, though. Alright, well, um. I'll get a rest from this room, but I kind of don't want to use it. Let's just Attack. fire away here. Yeah. Am I in range of that one? Yes. Okay. Missed, though. Okay, quick spider. Let's turn off that, and let's use this. Good, reliable damage. Okay, we can kind of slip through here a little bit now. Is probably gonna all just swarm onto that uh, quick spider mate so he can't do anything, which I'm really happy about. Just get in the way as much as possible. Uh, what about you? I think we. Move up to here and then buff Quebec. Oh, you're Hadrian. Whoops. Well, Quebec can't fire really next turn all that easily anyway. Well, I guess she can. She can fire at the spider. Uh, let's activate these and head on over here. Shield. Interesting. Didn't think they'd bother with that right now. Um... Of you here. A solid plan. All right. Well, that sucked. Um, so much for fighting in that uh, communal domain thing. All right. All the way over here. here. I don't really understand that. Oh, that's not good. Right, well, we got some frontliners here at least, but they're not the ones I wanted to be frontlining. Let's see here.
Well, the 16, the DC is 20. Yeah. Uh, we'll get Hadrian up here. No, he's just short of being able to fight defensively against it. I wonder if I can just randomly hit with one of these. I fire three rays. <laughs> All concealment. Okay. Wouldn't have mattered if he was outside of Malia either. Alright, he's displaced himself. We can do it! Would love it if we could get a little bit of Forward. true seeing or something like that, but nice. All right. So we could just toss one of these. A drow actually has spell resistance, if I recall correctly, though, just for being a drow. Immune to magic. All right, he casts shield. I forgot about that completely. Run them. <laughs> That was a really good crit. Okay. Oh, that wasn't a boss. That one with the scungy face usually means he's a boss. Uh, that's probably just regular masterwork, yeah. The fact that they can magic weapon and I can't cast magic weapon is really irritating to me. These guys, see these weird things here? Usually they've got a bunch of buffs on them and they are uh, got some weird sort of taint abilities. I really wish I could have done this um, earlier. Alright, well, let's go ahead and level. Pretty simple. Uh, why, are you not, why are you not leveling? What the hell? That's interesting. Alright, Ranger 7. Get my level 2s here, but... Ooh, yep, or level 3s actually. So instant enemy is the thing that I really like here. Uh, so basically we can point this at a boss and suddenly have like them be our favorite enemy. Okay. Oops, okay, one more athletics. Game's starting to lag out a little bit here. Paladin, we get another Mercy. These aren't my favorite things. They're pretty situational. All right, more Charisma. So I kind of think that getting rid of Blinded is good because that's one of those ones that can be permanent. So having a Mercy that can get rid of that is nice. Uh, Hadrian. Greater Bane, not as useful for him as it is for our other member. Uh, going with one more Wisdom. Get that plus five on the Guarded Hearth there. And we're looking for tanky things here. Uh, freedom of movement might be a good idea. What's the duration on this? I can't remember. Why is there such bad lag here? Seriously. Hmm. Yeah, it's 10 minutes per level. Stops him from like getting paralyzed on the front lines in Coup de Grad, if I recall correctly anyway. Yeah, so Greater Bane basically uh, changes so it does 46 damage, which is huge. All right, grab those. We're also at the level where we get four from uh, some of our stuff there. I don't really need any of the stuff here. I'm gonna take Shielded Caster, but this is why I don't need regular Inquisitor for the Archer. And we're looking mostly for like buffs that make us uh, more powerful, but I'm probably not gonna bother using most of them. Uh, I think Crusader's Edge works here. What's going on? Let me just check something here. Hmm. Uh, looks like things should be fine on this end. I might have to restart my game or something. Yeah, it's one round per level though, so I don't like that a ton. This one's one minute per level. This one's only for melee attacks. 
So not really liking our options for this character for this level, but that's fine. It's just one level and we get a really big bonus from other things. Uh, I'm just going to grab Death Ward. Having access to that's nice. Um, more importantly though, we've got, uh, you know, Greater Bane, we've got a bunch of... The road away. A whole bunch of our stuff basically gets more powerful. Like these things have now gone up to plus four, plus four. Um, this thing also is plus four, plus four now, uh, Divine Power, and I get more uses of it for being a higher level. So all of that's really, really good. Oh yeah, this is lagged to hell. Um, I might try resetting my game here. Just go main menu real quick. Might be a lot of stuff going on in the dungeon itself. This feels like it's pretty slow as well. Mm, that's not too bad. We'll try hitting continue. If it doesn't work, I'm going to go and uh, reset the whole game. All right, that seems fine. I haven't seen one of the altar rooms yet in this floor. Be nice to get one of those, I guess. Feels like this might be one, because we haven't had one in a while and because I uh, don't see any enemies here. But they might just be invisible. Oh yeah, this is a lore nature thing. And it's the end of the level. Yeah, we've got to save right near this, but what I want to do is do a real quick check around here. Because so we didn't find the secret room for this floor. I don't know if every floor has one, or if I already failed the spot check, which is possible, but we get another one if we do, because we leveled. I think after this, I kind of want to show you guys um, some like tutorial-y things or some uh, like character creation tip kind of things there rather than like just running through this dungeon but we might do some of that afterwards I'm still on unfair difficulty by the way for anyone wondering the game comes much easier on unfair once you've got like good builds if you're building correctly and the game gets much harder if you're building incorrectly um, it's one of those sorts of things where it's like, if you're doing things right, then everything gets easier as you progress, whereas if you're doing things wrong, everything keeps getting harder and harder and harder until it's, uh, undoable. Godspeed. I feel like this is where I would put, like, the hidden room if I was designing this, but this is randomly generated, so... Hmm. Alright. Because part of the problem is I might need a ton of money in a second here if I want to do a character build. It's like... I think it's like 50, 50, 60, 70,000 or whatever the hell for a level 12 character. It's a lot. Alright, well... How much do we have? We've got 113,000. We should have enough. No matter what. Yeah, I really don't, uh, I must have just not been able to find the, um, secret room this level. Okay. So this will definitely get us to the next level, uh, for our caster, our wizard. Oh yeah, it's slowing down again. I have managed. Cat's Grace, that's fine. I don't really, uh... None of the buffs that these offer anymore are really that meaningful. Yeah, we get the bonus on our... Wizard here. Let's level them up as well. So, Wizard's still fairly straightforward. Just keep going with what you're going with. Spell specialization, when you hit these like higher levels, they're going to be things like either your Fire Snake or your Dragon's Breath or something like that. 
Uh, Hellfire Ray is also an option. Um, I believe that this is a level that this is not good for. Um, every four caster levels beyond 11th, so I would need to be caster level 15 to get my extra ray. Um, so not quite the point where I would want that. And uh, 15 is a really good breaking point anyway, so I would do that at level 13, so next level. Right now, Fire Snake's a good option because uh, it caps out um, and it's a really potent spell because it uh, doesn't hit your allies. And we're double focused in uh, fire. I could take something like Elemental Assessor. It's technically got this fire descriptor. Cold Ice Strike. Uh, if I recall correctly, what makes this special is the swift action, so you don't have to cast Quicken on it. Becomes good later when you're throwing out like ninths as your main sort of source of damage. Um, okay, so. Got a little bit of spell juggling to do here. But um, pretty simple what we're doing for most of the time. I think what we want here. I'm going to throw in a flame strike, which is not going to be very good. But it's damaged, it's reliable, works. And we could actually have a break enchantment. I keep getting like dominated and crap. Let's do that actually. Uh, and then up here, I've got access to some interesting stuff. Like I don't th think I need healed necessarily. This is a ray, right? S name standard. Uh, no, I think this automatically hits. Okay. I don't think it has a save. The thing about Elementor's Elemental Assessor is that there's some weird things you can do with this with metamagics. It's a very strange spell. Um, maybe we're going to want another Blade Barrier. Or a Blade Barrier. Actually, let's have a couple. I feel like this level's summon is good, but I don't necessarily need that much of it. Okay. This is what this character's uh, stuff looks like. I'm going to throw in an icy prison for the hell of it. Um, let's throw in an elemental assessor. And that's about it. Do have our empowered magic missiles? I don't remember seeing those on our taskbar though. So many thoughts, so little time. Hmm. Interesting. Let's just throw that there. Um, who else prepares spells? Rangers. Okay, so we do have another spot here, or our first spot here, something like that. Uh, probably just gonna go for Sense Vitals. Uh, I don't know, it's like level 7 that I need, but I, I'm not level 7 Ranger yet. Crap. Level 4. No, cast level 4 because I am level 7. What's going on here? Something weird. I'm pretty sure it's like later that I get the spells I want. I was right the first time. Okay. Um. Forwards. Oh, shadows. Embrace. Sixty thousand divided six ways, ten thousand per person. All right. Stuff's getting expensive. Without a doubt. Oh, geez. Mandragora Swarm. The hell? Let us press on. Is that something you swarm with? <laughs> Alright, let's uh, move back a bit here. Because they look like they're sort of heading towards me. I don't want uh, to start the combat too preemptive. Uh, we'll just do this one, I think. I definitely feel like we just 
lead with one of these. Maybe even maximize it. Yeah, that Mandragora Swarm took some damage. Um, let's move this way. A solid plan. There's a, another quick wood over here. Well, shit. That's not good. Uh, these things have a lot of hit points. I don't know if I can... What is with this... <laughs> I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but this is what this looks like. It's just a bunch of Minecraft pixels around a block. I don't really... I don't know if it's me glitching or what, but let's just get that over with. Um, let's wait till Dog gets out of the way. We'll actually move Dog out of the way there. Oh no, Dog can't get out of the way. Alright, well you're going to have to go out of the way this way. I'm just going to five step forward here. Uh, actually... Do I already have the uh, upgraded weapon? Looks like I do. Okay. Let's head out here. Sort of chill out here, I guess. Hadrian. Doing the same thing. Let's get out there. Okay. And some Blade of Skeletons. Ooh, there's a nymph here too. Is that beast shape or is that summon? I feel like that's probably a summon. Forwards. Hundred damage there. Like we're a level. Oh jeez. All right. Well, loading the game for that one. Jesus. That thing actually moves really fast for a swarm. I was not expecting that. Apparently we have to take that out first. Otherwise it's just going to one-shot our entire party. Um, okay. Let us press on. Well, that's interesting. Swarms don't have to worry about like your tanks or anything like that. They automatically hit everything. So it's kind of one of those weird situations. I think I can shoot at that type of swarm, though, with Quebec. Uh, all right, you. Shoot. Uh, so I think this time we're doing the fireball, quick and fireball. Or maximize fireball, then quick and fireball. If I could hit with a better one from this distance, I would, but... Yeah, that one's close range. What did I take for the other one? Ooh, we actually have heroes in greater. That could be interesting. It's only one minute per level, actually. It's not that good. Um, this could be interesting. I feel like what we want is something like... You, you get a lot of interesting spells at higher levels. Uh, I, do, I, I do like that Cold Ice Strike, though. Alright. Wondering how we deal with that Mandragora, because it is Let's shake a leg. kind of unreasonable how much damage that was. Actually, part of what I have to do, I think, is I have to hit this thing differently, but let's just get everybody out of this doorway here. I sort of have to like run in kind of aggressive here and potentially spread out a bit so that it goes after like different targets. Oh, there's just a leopard there. I thought that was a summon or something. All right, you're delaying till after all these animal companions as well. Still want a blade of skeletons. Okay, I kind of want to figure out if I can charge that and deal damage to this Mandragora Swarm with, like, ranged attacks or melee attacks or whatever. 
Yeah, it's not small enough that it's immune to those, okay. Different types of swarms are immune to different things, depending on their size, basically. I just want to move out of the way here. I think we get ready to fight the Quickwood. I'm going to move back here. Forgot to upgrade our armor class there a bit. Uh, I don't think I've got quite enough range here. Uh, yeah, Solid just enough. Plan. Nine damage. I think it's got some reduction. Yeah, it seems like it's having my piercing, because it's a swarm. That's my guess. Um... Alright, how's this Mandragora Swarm? Oh wow, it still has a ton of health. That is disconcerting. Okay, moving you like that. Hitting you up with this potentially? I don't know. Maximize Fireball. I think we just have to risk hitting Dog. He's got evasion, but, like, it's a hard save DC. And again. Sorry, dog. Had to be done. Okay, this thing still is, like, a lot of health. Alright, got an invisibility on that. It says... This has... Regenerate. <laughs> okay, it didn't kill everybody this time, though. So that's good. Alright, so... Uh, he's encumbered because of all the damage he took, in, or the, uh, the stat damage. Okay, let's uh, see here. Could drop a Fire Elemental on it, maybe, but... Don't know if that would be enough. Uh, I think we want to get in here a little bit and heal. Alright. Can't get on there, but we can go over here. Could take out their leopard with my leopard, it looks like, but... Or attack it anyway. Adrian. No fear. We can do it. Let's activate Bane. Forwards. Oof. Okay. Well. deal the damage, so we're going to enlarge. Out of my way! Alright, that's down. Okay, passed its save, but it's dealing some damage here. Uh... Powerful Maximize, Fire Snake. I want to make sure that we're hitting with this, because sometimes it bounces off a wall. Um, Alright, this better work. Uh, did a lot of damage, but he's going to get a go again, and we're all going to die. <laughs> oh no. Okay. You're dead. Okay, you're dead. Okay, so I have to bring him back first so that I can get him to use his, uh, what's it called? So, Breath of Life on you, because he also has Breath of Life. 
<laughs> oh, never mind. Apparently he's under the swarm, it comes back up and kills him again. Alright, fair enough. Oh, man. I feel like my stream has not been very stable. It looks like it's going up and down for some reason. Alright, well... What else do we have that could potentially be a swarm killer? Kind of feels as though part of us wants to just absolutely fling everything we got at that one swarm. Which feels silly, but... That's what you gotta do. Alright. Oh, I hate that. I think we're gonna get spotted here. Nope, not yet. Okay, we gotta use our stuff on that swarm, but... What if I did the opening against that thing? Let's also do this. So, we might actually want to do the bow as our opening. That way we get the double spell on the surprise round with our caster. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. They spotted me. Like, they just wandered right, uh, just barely over enough. And then, yeah, he just instantly kills my attack. That one was really annoying. <laughs> What the hell? What the hell? What? So I've never seen that before. Alright, well. It wasn't even the dice, it was just the AI deciding it was going to move just barely towards me there. I technically don't gain anything by leveling here other than, I guess, the extra d6 on our attack spells there. Alright. This one Mandragora, I like, the hit points on it is what really bothers me about this. Oh, yeah. Stop, stop. Goddamn Quickwood. God damn it. Where's that Mandragora? There it is. Alright, we used some of our duration here, but... What? Why did it uh, switch because that guy moved out of range? That sometimes automatically happens, and I hate it when that does. Okay. Hadrian, uh, we're delaying you until after these animals. Jeez, alright. So we want the maximized fireball. That thing's still passing all its saves, but it's fine. This thing's immune to fire, that's weird. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Um, oh. Nope, okay. Well, going over here to fight these quickwoods, I guess. I've got to move you behind our animal companions as well, I think. No, I don't want to move behind the Mandragora. I think we'll charge this leopard. Some cat-on-cat -cat action there. Alright. Uh, 
I'm gonna have you go up behind Ur. Because Ur can get away over to here. Now we can move Hadrian towards this stuff. What if we diverted it over, like, here a little bit? Then had it sort of, like, forced to zigzag a little bit. Work in a serpentine kind of fashion there. Uh, we might also be able to get a charge off against that. No. Could charge my own ally. That seems like a bad idea. Um... have you join and fight these leopards. Okay, Ur's blind. It's fantastic. Uh, Jericho, can you finish off that Mandragora? Uh, have to move up a bit for that. Real unhappy about having to move up against this thing, but... Oh, it's still actually nearly full health. Cool. That's, uh, that's interesting. Okay, well... Let's use the lesser. I know one of those trees was not uh, immune to these fireballs. Yeah, we're just gonna hit one skeleton, and that's kind of fine. Nope, seems like maybe both of them both of them are. Okay, how many damn hit points does this thing have? <laughs> We're still chopping away at the stupid thing's hit points. Um Okay, I don't think I can actually do anything else from here. Guess I could burning arc something, but that wouldn't really help. I'm just gonna move you back. Blindness, this is going to be a bit awkward, but... Let's get a swing in against the Quickwood, make it so that we can uh, get our bonuses. Oh, why did it heal 20? There's a lot about this I'm not happy about. This is there, Quebec. That's why it went there. Uh, we can do it. I don't know if I can actually beat this stupid swarm. Okay, Bane. Forwards. It's always swarms in this game. They're always the thing that makes it impossible to progress. Yeah, she's probably dead. Alright. What else could I do against this stupid thing here? If I hit it with a maximized one of these things, it'll pass its save. Looks like I can get an angle though where I could hit uh, another thing as well. Although these things seem to be immune to fire, so how useful that is really questionable. Pass it save again. It's reflex saving throws at plus 26. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Um, literally impossible for it to fail. Okay. Down a bit. Got one of those, so that helps. Uh, stunned, I'm thinking. Run them through. So hey, it you comes to this. Distract that thing. 
That's the most. <laughs> Alright, let's have you go ahead and bring back Quebec. Was your strength zero? Quebec. Strength one. Yeah, her strength was this thing actually brought her strength down from fourteen to zero in one in two turns. I don't think I can deal with that. Let's uh, see if we have any knowledge of nature on this. Strike with all your might. Fast healing 10, but it got 20 for some reason. It's a level 23 creature, which uh, is cool. It's resistance, cold, acid, and electricity. Okay. It's immune to mind effect, compulsion, poison, charm, stun, polymorph, critical hits. Yeah. Baleful, polymorph, paralyzed, sleep, and stun. Hmm. Doesn't seem as though it actually has any weaknesses. Uh, that's not good. Alright. Well, our archer doesn't actually deal any damage anymore, and also the game is light to health. Well, that's nice. Two natural 20s, but that doesn't really help us much here. Uh, Quebec, uh... Just get back up here. Or something. You don't have any buffs anymore, either. Yeah, you're blinded as well. Alright, now it's going real fast. You're dead. Okay, well. Crit there. Yeah, blinding beauty's really messing us up. Um, I just want to see if I can kill a stupid Mandragora, though. Like, if I throw everything sort of at it that I've got at it. Kind of situation. I feel like this might mean the difference between being able to hit that or not, yeah. Pass it save again. That also pass it save. Cool. Uh, burning arc. Pass it save again. It has to roll ones, basically. Alright, well. Resort to force. Wonder if I can make a new character that would let me get through this. And what would that be? Yeah, it's just a low game here. I might have to go make a new character for this specific task. It seems to have about, th like, it has hundreds of hit points, which is a problem, obviously. Maybe if I did like a single blast kineticist, would I be able to take it out in one go with that? Or does that count as a single... I wonder if that would be halved. It shouldn't be if it's bludgeoning. So I think maybe we are going to just try and get through this with character creation. We'll see if that works. I was learning how to play kineticist because I did uh, the sorrow flow thing in the actual campaign recently. So we're going to look at a little bit of a... Uh, Character creation, 72,000. Alright, well, we might just have to do this to get through this one stupid encounter. Um, Alright, so this is going to be someone who needs constitution and dexterity. Or if I go for the other kind of archetype, I could go in intelligence dexterity. So I could actually make an elf one that would be pretty good. And given the appearance of this character, actually, that might be a good idea. Let's go with red hair. Just kind of got the wavy thing going on here. Wild wavy. Skin tone's kind of pallid. And that seems about right. Okay. So, the thing about Kineticist is I don't understand them very well, but Dark Elementalists replace their standard casting with a, I believe, um, intelligence-based thing here. So, they don't use their con. Um... Duration of wild talents, her bonus and concentration checks, and any other constitution. Oh, that's only for the wild talents, though. It doesn't include the blasts. Or is this? OK. 
Okay, DC for saves against an infusion is based on the associated kinetic blast effect of spell level, not the level of the infusion. DC to form infusions are calculated using the kinetic dexterity modifier. Okay, so that's actually dex then. So yeah, I could go and in inst dex or uh, kineticist to a certain degree here. That might be a good idea. Could also just pick something that's got constitution bonuses, but I don't think dex con is a is a combination that you'll ever see. Does Gnome have that? No, Con Charisma. Dex Charisma. Could also just go Human. Because then I could choose what I'm taking. No, not... Sort of... Meh. Undead looking. Don't really have a great one for that for humans, but they do have a... Uh, good hairstyle for it. Alright. So I get plus two to sort of whatever I want, which will work out. I don't necessarily feel like if I'm doing this route, I need Dark Kinesis. I'll just go with a regular. Okay, we need Dexterity. I don't need any Strength. Constitution should be high. I don't need Intelligence. Don't need Wisdom. Don't really need Charisma. I think we want more Wisdom than we want Charisma, of course. Uh, I don't really care about my skills that much. Okay, we want Point Blank Shot. We want Precise Shot. We want... It has to, I have to have something bludgeoning in here, and I can get that from any of these except for Fire. Go with Earth. Extended range. Pushing infusion would also be good, but we maybe get that later. Temp. Make you chaotic. Let us bide our time. Let's shred them! Damn that this hurts so enemy approaching! Yeah, you don't get a voice, you're a temp worker. Alright. So there's some weird nonsense that kineticists get up to that's going to make this a very painful process since I'm leveling it all the way to 12, but... Um, so we could take, for example, like a whole bunch of different things here. This is a familiar. This gives us a bonus feat. Uh, I don't need any of those. Uh, could get skilled kineticists. Eh. Um, honestly, probably a feat is what we're going to have to take here. Greater trip is better than you would think. So we'll take that. Um, won't work here though, obviously. Fury's Fall. Add Dex to that. Um, don't need that right now. So we're going to go with uh, Weapon Focus, Kinetic Blast. And we'll take Pushing Infusion. Not sure that starting Earth is the best of options, but... can always redo this later. Okay. Yeah, um, so Greater Trip, so I don't have to meet the prereqs, which is really, really nice for this class. Um, stacks the bonus uh, granted by Trip, yeah, let's take Greater. The reason that this is good is because there's like blasts that can trip people, and they use your trip check, and they're associated with the Earth uh, stuff, so that's why we're taking it, it's not because we're going to walk up and actually trip anything. Uh, Fury's Fall, uh, I want Deadly Aim. Yeah, so Bowling Infusion here, um, which is a trip combat maneuver attempt, essentially. Could also take Spindle, this would make it so that we could uh, do something else there, but I'm going to take this. Even though it doesn't work here. Alright. This is basically the most confusing class in the game, I kind of don't like that, but... I, th I, think, I think it ha should have enough damage output that it can actually kill this thing in like a couple goes. If I manage to sneak up, I might have to take some stealth. Um, Jagged Flesh could be okay. I don't really like it.
Great Fortitude might be okay. I don't really feel like that, though. Hmm. I feel like what we want here is the Hair Familiar, so we'll take that for plus four on initiatives. Okay. This is where we get a second element. This is where we can start thinking about um, Composite Blasts, and I have to try and remember what they are, because I don't remember what they are. Uh, Fury's Fall might be good here. We can't use Rapid Shot or anything like that with this character. That doesn't work. So, at this point in time, we've got our Earth. Um, I have to think... I think we go with Magma Combination. So we should have Magma Composite Blast, and I want to double-check that. I guess we just keep going. Alright, um... One of the problems with these is that you have to hit, and that's not necessarily easy. Expanded Defense, that could get me the armor that you get for... Or no, Fire is uh, an Aura type effect. Okay, so this would be good for increasing our damage by a little bit there, which I think we kind of want. We could also go with the bonus domain thing. Like, you can get some really interesting stuff from this, but... I think in this case we want Fire's Fury. We're going to try and increase our burn before we go in there a little bit. It's just that we got the extra to hit and damage. I am going stealth, so this is what we're really looking to get here. Um, cluster shots obviously makes no sense for this. You fire one big shot off. Um, improved initiative. Alright, we got another shape here. Burning Infusion could add some burning damage to it. This one's not that good. Dazzling, uh, not that good. Entangling. Entangling Infusion might actually work here. But I don't remember if there's a save. Reflex negates. This thing's got so much reflex that it's not going to work on it. Um, I'm not going for an area of effect type thing here. Maybe burning. Reflex negates that as well. Hmm. We could go with Torrent or something like that. I think we just don't bother with any of those. Let's take Blade. No, we'll take Eruption. It's what I would use if I need to bring this character back around for anything else. Alright, we don't get our last element until 15, and you never get the ability to go like Avatar, Blast, Airbender sort of thing, where you get all four. It sort of sucks. Uh... Okay, Fire would give us access to some Intimidate-based stuff, really. Yeah, I don't have any great options right now. I don't feel like... I feel like we take Expanded Defense to get Searing Flesh, but I'm not hugely happy about that. Okay. Improve Critical, Kinetic Blast. Doesn't really help us here, but there's not a ton of things that would. Uh, that doesn't work at that. Okay, connect blasts, improve critical, burning infusion, blah blah blah. Same sort of stuff here. Do you have access to wall now? So we could actually make some walls and then have it go through those as it tries to get at us, I guess. What if we did that and we also had, like, Blade Barrier? I don't know that this is a bad choice. Okay, one more. Got another Wild Talent as well. Alright, uh, let's go with Jagged Flesh. The combination gives me some aura damage stuff that we could do here. 
Uh, and we're going to pop out for now Hadrian, because we don't necessarily need that. And we'll also go ahead and upgrade our wizard here. Do this nonsense again. Okay, so all the stuff I have with this character is unlimited use, so I don't really have to worry about uh, certain things there. We have got the ability to use a Magma Blast. We have a ton of things that we can sort of activate with this character. So I think I should be able to increase our burn. I wish there was an easier way for me to check what my burn was, but I know it exists. So I can increase my Kineticist DR to a maximum DR equal to your Kineticist level. So I could add a whole bunch of that. I could also just check out what the damage is on this. So the damage on Magma Blast is 28 to 88, which is pretty good, especially uh, if we manage to hit, which we won't necessarily do. Uh, we'll activate Pushing Infusion. Uh, the wall costs us a ton of burn, but that's fine. All right, so what we might want to do, for example, is this drop down like a really powerful wall of magma or something like that um, with like the pushing infusion attached to it. I don't necessarily know that we need the bowling infusion here. I should be able to get more stats from something though. There's trip. Um, so I could use like Jagged Flesh or Searing Flesh. I wonder how you check what your burn is. It's something I never figured out playing through the other thing. Um, yeah, I have no idea. All right, we need some plus charisma items. Or not charisma, constitution. All right, Constitution Dex. Uh, sure. What's this? Yeah, no. Um, I think that's fine. Okay. But I should be able to get even more bonuses by getting some burn, and I can't remember how to check that, because we should be able to get like plus two or even plus four on that. Um, let's try and get a little bit of burn going. So yeah, minus 12, so we've got one burn. Then we can also do this. Oh, this does zero. Oh no, minus 24, there we go. Okay. Good, good. So your Fire Blast can also be a wall. That would be 8 to 38. This is 1444. We should have a slight increase in our damage coming in from the fact that we were accepting burn. Oh, here it is. 2 out of 7. So we need one more, I think, before we get anywhere here. Okay, we're up to 3 now. I guess it doesn't list it. The limit rises to two points of burn at six level and rises by one additional point every three levels thereafter. Yep. Um, uses accepted burn never benefits that lowers uh, blah blah blah. Yeah, I, I tr need to try and remember like when I get the bonuses to hit though, and I'm pretty sure it's at three. And every three thereafter. We also do now have access to our elemental overflow, so I can get a plus two size bonus to dex and con, which is really weird. Um, but that's how it is. So our stats now should read, yeah, we're at 27 and 22. So that's all pretty good. Do I keep pushing this, I think? I 
want to try and double check what this does, because I think it increases scaling. Let's just go up to six burn and see if we got any bonuses here. Uh, okay, I'm not seeing the bonuses, I think. I think that's just the case of me not seeing them, though. Alright, well, let's give us a try. I'm going to throw up some powerful wall stuff here. Alright, I don't have uh, one of them prepped. I don't think I've actually re-prepped a lot of our stuff here. Okay, so... Um, potentially a good idea for me to get another... I wonder if I could use Slay Living against that successfully. I don't think I can. Um, Breath of Life might be a good idea here. Alright, let's grab some Blade Barriers. And, uh... Let's grab Icy Prison. Let's get that Ice Strike here. Let's get a couple of those instead. Although, actually... Elemental Assessors instead of these, I think, right now. So... No, because actually it's got a bunch of Elemental Resistances. Like, this one has got some interesting stuff you can do with metamagics and stuff like that, but... Actually, uh... Because none of this stuff really works that well against that guy. I'll keep this, though. Dragon's Breath is going to be the one that's really hard for me to use properly. Alright. Uh, and then we had... Something new for you, yes. Um, maybe Spike Growth would work here. What about Entangle? I think they're immune to Entangle. Or functionally, because they've got the ability to pass those saves. What if I did Stone Call? What if I did Stone Call and uh, Ice Storm and Wall? I think that's what we do. Blade Barriers, Walls, and all that other crap. Because I think we can slow it. And then we'll have you back here doing whatever. Okay, so she regains all of her stuff, unfortunately, so we have to redo some stuff I want burn. Uh, we want Metakinesis Empowered. Maybe we get a bit of burn on the wall, would be how we do this. So let's maximize. Not having one of our tanks with us makes me a bit nervous. Okay, so we we're going to go try and cheese a fight that's otherwise really freaking hard. Alright, let's see, what do we want for buffs? Still want this. Still want this. In this case, like, Guarded Hearth doesn't really help us much because our problem is not stuff related to Guarded Hearth. Uh, I don't think that what that thing was doing was a poison to reduce our stats, but we'll do this anyway. Pretty sure it's an energy-related drain negative energy type effect there. Maybe we could get immunity to that through Death Ward, though. Uh, I'm probably not going to worry about that right now. Let's uh, boost up a little bit of our... Get a little bit of burn here. Activate some of these abilities. Alright, so we're at three out of whatever. Um, gets me access to this elemental overflow Naruto running bullshit. Um, and we'll get another point through wall. Okay. So that's all lovely. We're using the push one. Do I need other buffs? Let's get this. Let's get this. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Um, you don't really do buffs, that's kind of fine. All right. Okay, so if we're doing it this way, I kind of don't go any further than here. And we just sort of pop our walls like there. Go ahead and use Blade Barrier. Wait, what? Why is it uh, going through all my allies here? Oh, that's why. What the hell? What? This is not how Blade Barrier normally works. What? All right, well, let's not do that then. Um, let's use your wall of fire as well. Well, that's very interesting. Um, okay, I don't know. Okay, so there'll be some free damage to deal with them. Now, I can't actually do two walls with one character, but I can do two walls with this character. damage on that guy. Kind of want to move people back a bit rather than forward. Jericho, let's have you use your Ice Storm. She's going to have to move up a bit if I want to do that without hitting my own dudes. What if I did this? Okay, that took the damage from that, and it should be slowed down a little bit, too. Okay, Temp, you're up. So I can't do another wall with this character, because um, doing another wall dismisses the previous one. So what we're going to want to do is probably prepare a, an extended range blast against this fellow. So we're going to start gathering power. Oh, shoot. Forgot this. Okay, well, that should be fine, I think. We'll probably be fine. Let's uh, slow them down a little bit more with one of these. Ooh, this guy's entangled. Fantastic. Didn't think that was possible, all things considered. Get you out of here. Okay, so this gives me time to fling down some crap on this guy from Jericho over here. Temp, you're still gathering power, right? Fire off this magma blast. So we're doing the long gather power here. Alright, 
back, start five footing back out of here if you can. And we're gonna activate these. We'll start firing. All right, it's enough to get through his fast deal a bit. Um, you know, I don't think these really stack the way I would like them to. Not that I would actually want them to stack the way I want them to, because that would be make it impossible. I got entangled. <laughs> All right, fine. Um. Yeah, that worked really freaking well. Uh, he just ran in, got pushed back, <laughs> ran in again. Uh, you know what? I like this combination. Um, freaking a whole bunch of walls that they have to try to run through and get pushed back on is funny as hell. Uh, or trip inside of later on. Trees trying to get through there. All right, all right, Mandragora, try and try and get through this wall of hell. Oh, he still can't make it. He's trying his best. Piece of shit. <laughs> Alright, um. Single target spell doesn't work there. Um. I kind of just want to see it hit that wall. I want to see it happen. Oh, let's just fireball here, though. 25 damage. Yeah, practically nothing. Alright, Temp. Let's give this a shot, I guess. Hundred and five damage on a natural twenty. I didn't get the critical confirmation there though, which is unfortunate. Alright, we're moving you back a bit. Alright, Quebec. Okay, let me five foot step game. There we go. And we're going to activate Greater Bane. Because I want this thing pretty dead. It's still alive. The sound of all these fires is kind of obnoxious, I gotta admit. I really want to figure out how Blade Barrier works in this game. I might do that outside. It cannot work the way that it's advertising here. There we go. Okay. Oh, it died. Holy shit. That's what I thought it was supposed to do. Oh, that thing died. Oh my god. Okay, so whatever she's doing has gone horribly wrong. Um, Draco, get over here. Fire snake. No, he's immune to fire. Alright, he's immune to fire. I need to do something about that. Well, it's composite wall, so he'll take both damages. Um, I guess we're expecting that. We just use the rock blast. You probably don't need to charge at all. Missed. Okay, well, we threw a rock at him and missed. Fantastic. Alright, well that's two of them dead. Can't see shit here. Uh, okay, so Jericho dealt some damage to that Illusion Weaver, because it's trying to get through this wall, I guess. Or maybe it did get through the wall. I should actually have Quebec use the invisibility. I'm going to have you move in front of Quebec. Okay, a bunch of us have been fascinated in stuff. That's where their Illusion Weaver Nymph is. Okay, Jericho is blinded. You're fine. Did I take any burn? I've taken more burn. Okay, well. What I kind of want to do is, like, get a pushback on uh, this infusion here so that she gets pushed through all this uh, stuff again. Which would be really funny. Oh, I'm blind, though, so... Yeah, missed dude concealment. Alright, Quebec, do your thing. Okay. 
Uh, that was a 150 damage shot. Holy crap. Okay. Now, how long until all these effects go away? <laughs> uh, Blade Barrier, what's your duration? One minute per level. Okay, cool. All of you are uh, one round per level, so those should be going away pretty soon. This one is... I don't know. Okay. So, gonna be honest here. Quite liking that combination of things, because it's kind of hilarious. If you throw down a whole bunch of walls and keep pushing them back through it with, like, this pushback thing, that's really funny, actually. Um, would be nice to not have to kill myself to cast it, but, you know. Uh, is this permanent blindness? Oh, it is permanent blindness. Okay, this is why we've got the mercies. Uh, I cannot remember how to use mercies. So that's awkward. I think it's just part of lay on hands, isn't it? Yep, okay. Alright, so there's gotta be a way to cancel that, right? I don't think there is. Um, great. Also, this is on the ground there. There's also the ice storm. It's just... Alright, fair enough. This is the consequence of my actions I'm, ex I, I, I'm suffering from here. Alright, well, I got this at least. It's a nice consolation prize. So the only problem is that, like, missing another shield user up front kind of sucks. Maybe if I made someone a Kinetic Knight, but they don't... If I had another Kinetic Knight, they would uh, have some problems. Okay, so I have to try and avoid taking any more... whatever. Um, I don't need Maximize, but I can use Empower. Oh, wait. Was I not... Oh, that's for both. Okay, let's just use Empower. We might have more encounters that were like that last one. And I don't mean in the sense of, like, the way we dealt with it. I mean in the sense of, like, all our enemies are those sort of kind of trees. Um, it's a freaking giant slug. Okay, well, that's a lot less uh, unpleasant, actually, in a lot of ways. So, huge acid damage out of these guys, but... Go ahead and get resistance to acid communal here. I feel like I just moved something off my taskbar, but... Oh, shit. Okay, well that's unpleasant. Okay, well... Shit. I'm trying to move in... This is what I get. Alright. Okay. Some of these guys have evasion, clearly. Let's get you out. Greater invising, that's fine. Wait, who she did she cast that on someone who's already invisible for some reason? I feel like she did. All right, temp. So I think we do a lot less uh, in terms of what we're accomplishing here. And we try to get it down to the point where I'm not going to die if I cast this. Uh, I might not even use Pushing Infusion on this. What else have I got active here? Because this is a full round ability, right? Full round, yeah, I can't do that and do something else at the same time. Um, what if I did like a standard wall, like just fire? Yeah, so that would be possible. I like how we got one of them with that. <laughs> Alright. These freaking walls are rad. Alright, Quebec. Do the thing you do best. 
and what you do is not that unpleasant, honestly. Neat little arrows. Uh, I, I kind of want to take out the range thing. All right. And take it out, she did. That's all she took out. She's very focused. As soon as you take away her focus, she kind of, like, forgets what she was doing. All right. Uh, this is fine. Oh no, I can't actually attack from there. Okay, well, whatever. Um, do I want to make things worse? Of course I want to make things worse. <laughs> Didn't even get to do it, what I wanted there. Alright. I feel 99% convinced that thing should count as being in the barriers for, like, the purpose of damage, but... Alright, this is working really funny. Um, I like it. Alright, we killed a thing, that's fine. Ran forward and died. Cool. Okay. Um, okay, it looks like I don't have anyone I can see right now, so we'll just wait till she runs around and potentially kills herself in whichever way uh, happens to happen. What happened to you? You're just fascinated or dazzled or delayed or whatever. Alright, it's fine. I'm just gonna kind of move everybody behind that guy. Alright, well this strategy works really funny. Oh, managed to slip through there. Well, you little you sneaky bastard. That's what you get. Alright, let's uh, pop one of these. Hopefully by, by the time we finish fighting all this stuff, we'll have uh, cleared out all the stuff that's going on in the other room. Casting shield, okay. That's lovely for you. Um, just gonna cast this again. Pastor save, that's fine. Just keep chucking magma at them. Missed, damn. This is the problem with these blasts, is that like if your accuracy's not very good, you're not gonna do very much damage with them. Glorious leader has been fascinated by watching sparkly lights or something. Yeah, go faster. I dare you. She's like, you go through the wall. I'm like, no, you go through the wall. Can I not hit her? I don't think I can. Looks like I can gather the power for now, though. Still fascinated. Blade Barrier is still slowly killing her, though, so... Does it really matter? Probably not. Still fascinated. She's just like, I wonder what spell could save me from all this. I think she found that little corner that you can sort of weasel your way through here. Alright, well, let's just move back here with Temp. Oh, I like Temp. Temp's really funny. What the hell was that? <laughs> okay, well, fair enough, I guess. Let's go the other way, see if all that other stuff's run out yet. <laughs> this is really funny. <laughs> Oh man, they're still, they're still just like confused over here. Oh man, this stuff's still here. God damn it. Okay, I wonder if leaving the dungeon is gonna cause that to go away. I don't think it does, because I've had Guarded Hearth like up before and it just stays there. Okay, so we got all their stuff though. 
Uh, let's collect it. Figure out what it is. All right, you're a headband of charisma plus four, natural armor plus three. Okay, this is the level where we get some stuff. Uh, rings of protection. There's three headbands of alluring charisma plus four. What the hell? So apparently this is just the floor where there's a massive jump in terms of the loop quality, I guess. I don't know. Okay, who uses charisma? It's mostly you, I think. You've already got a headband for plus four. That's really sad. <laughs> All right, well. Um, okay, so we'll give you one of our amulets of natural armor, maybe. No, I don't think we really need that. Are the tanks not here is the problem. Um... I guess we'll give you that. Uh, shock flail plus two, that's not that good. Looks plus three. Um, I like how sort of on a knife's edge we are with our new friend here because if they get hit by something nasty, they kind of just immediately die. What is this? Right, yeah, that's where it's giving him breath, breath of life. I forgot about that. Uh, all right, well, let's see if that made the stuff go away. Nope. Okay, this might be a time for me to take like a quick bathroom break while I wait for the durations of my own stuff run out. Uh, hoisted by my own petard. I don't know. Um, let's try and figure out like what else I can be doing with this character. Like what can I get away with in terms of like damage and stuff like that. So if we use Metakinesis Empowered and I'm not like in a rush or anything like that, I can still cast a wall. Uh, with just one as a full round action. It's just that the magma wall takes longer. It's 1444 for that, whereas this one's 8 to 38. It's not a huge increase in damage, honestly. I don't think you can you can wall with rocks, that's interesting. It's only 8 to 23 damage with the rocks for some reason. Oh, it's because it's halved on non-energy types. Energy types are no uh what the hell's going on here? Oh, it's because of the plus bonus from the uh, feat that I took, or the traitor, or whatever you you would want to call it. Giving it plus uh, bonuses there. Um, okay. Hmm. Well... Composite Blasts are a lot more expensive. This one, I think, is the only one that I've got right now that's a touch attack. So that's fun. Um, the Bowling Infusion. I wonder what my Combat Maneuver check is. I can't use both. I have to use one or the other. This one costs a bit more, but I can still cast that using full round. Yeah, I do have to use this, though. And I can still have it empowered. I could also do this. So if I'm not empowering it, I can still use like the wall um, as a free thing, as a standard action. Even without any channeling. Same thing for over here. No, this one's more expensive. That's interesting. Oh, because this one only works if it's got an earth infusion right. So I'd have to use this to get the two points that I need for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And if I wanted to empower it or something like that, I'd have to do even more. This one just is you accept a point of burn. I don't think uh, it actually matters what you're doing. Um, Well, in any event, though, we're pretty close to cap on burn. Uh, have we got the higher version of this? Yes. 
So I actually have to reselect it as soon as that happens to get uh, the higher elemental overflow. So you get plus four to something and then you get like plus two to both the other ones. So for us, we would want the dexterity and then plus two strength, plus two con. Okay, so we'll do the, do the improved Naruto running um, or whatever. All right, so the tripping wall sounds really funny. There's later on, you can get a tripping cloud, I think. Which is what I really want. You're still going. Jesus. Alright, well... What? Is there... an icon for the spell that I could, like, click on or some, something like that? Leopard, you're going in there to investigate. Because you're supposed to be able to dismiss spells. Oh, we got some boots. That's interesting. I haven't had any boots in a while. This one, I'm pretty sure, is just movement speed, yeah. But this is Boots of Creeping Death. Oh, that's not too interesting either. Uh, Frost Light Crossbow plus two. What I would really like is a really powerful longbow. That's what I want. Maybe I could lure something into all of that. Maybe I should just rest. Get back all my spells, get back my like energy walls or whatever. Energy wall on its own is kind of bad, but I guess if they have to run through like four of them or whatever and you can pre-prepare them or whatever, then it's pretty good, I'd imagine. Okay, is this gone now? It's gone now. Good. Okay, so Ur's back up to full health because of uh, not having all that drain there, all that burn. I'm trying to remember how much damage. It's like one per like it. It basically is functionally equivalent to losing your Constitution modifier, if I recall correctly. So for her, since she's got like a plus six con or something like that, it's the equivalent of like losing. Uh, a lot of hit points. Actually, no, it's... I'm losing 12 per use, it seems. Maybe it's one per level? Who knows? It's a complicated system. It's a complicated class. Uh, hopefully we don't have any more of those rooms with that damnable Mandragora, though. Like, that is the key thing of, like, I don't want to have to deal with it. Um... After that, we might go back to having our tank again, but honestly, that does give me some ideas. I don't think uh, Kineticist really fits in that well with the theme of what we want to go with with our sort of longer term whatever, though. I know I do a lot more damage more reliably with uh, Quebec than I do with our newbie, but having a wall up, I think we're going to do. I'll even be nice enough to give you one of these. There's no way in hell I can trip a Shambling Mound, though. Um, just probably not in the cards. No, ugh. As soon as I move forward a little bit, they just always turn around. I hate that. So the nice thing about this one is it's like a resource-free wall of grappling. Or tripping, rather. There is a grappling one. Um, this might screw us over if there happens to be something, like, over here that gets hit by this, but... Nope. Okay. Quebec, do your thing. Oh shit, he disappeared. <laughs> That's okay, I haven't cast this yet. Uh, I'll cast the invisibility while we're at it. Just in case there's more of those... Oh god, that's loud. In case there's more of those slug things, let's go ahead and cast resistance to acid. Nope. God. <laughs> this fire is too loud. That's the main problem I've got with it. Alright, Temp. Let's uh, switch you out to this. See if you can hit this guy with a composite blast here. 
Oh no wait, you're on one action. You, I should have done it with no charge. Oh well. Uh, Jericho, just chucking a fireball. The reason wizards are stronger than kineticists is that they've got, sort of got their abilities being able to just chuck them out when they need them, rather than having to wait, or putz around with menus or stuff like that. Oh, missed those guys. Okay. That's right, come at me. Oh, shit. No, no, don't come at me now. Wait till later. Alright, come back. Uh, do I want to just bane this guy to death? Huh, he survived that. That was like 150 damage. Close to. Alright, well, in any event, let's uh, redo that wall, I guess. Make it a fire this time. We won't get the uh, trip thing, but I could get potentially the pushing. No, I can't even get the pushing infusion. Alright, just light that back up behind you. It's just like, runs forward past all the stuff. It's like, aha, an opening! Runs through and just gets destroyed by the party. Um, Alright, that's good. Ooh, we got trips. Okay. Oh, one sec. Yeah. Sorry about that. Just had to go look for get some dinner plans going. All right. So in any event, what were we doing? I can't remember. Can I hit him? I cannot. There we go. Okay. All right. There he goes. I'll just stay down here for a moment. Alright. Um, I think whatever I do is going to also run through the wall here. Don't have a ton of things I want to do with this character right now, so we'll just leave it. Ooh, that's not good. I didn't cast the protection from poison this time because I didn't think I'd need it. That's not good. Okay. We go after you. Nope. Okay. Uh, I want to get rid of this poison aura, so we're going to work on that first. Missed the last one. All right. Fine. Um, let's see if we can kill this thing off before we end up getting hit by it or anything like that. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to hit this guy. Let's be real with you. Go with Fire Blast, since that's much more likely to hit. It's a touch attack, so... Um, what I kind of want to do is freeze him in the fire, if that's possible. I don't think that actually works. <laughs> I think that there's reasons not to do that. Let's just Burning Arc him. Yep. Okay, I have to use Delay Poison. Got rainbow... The person who's got Delay Poison got rainbow patterns. No. Oh, boy. Okay, well... Does anyone else have that? We got 
Uh, lore religion, right? Nope, you're still poisoned. Okay. Has to save there, that's good. Okay. Have I got delay poison communal? I've got regular delay poison, okay. Someone else took a hit from that though. I can move the Wall of Fire, if I recall correctly, by casting another one. Let's put this behind us for now. Yeah, that automatically gets rid of the first one. You're not allowed more than one. At the time, let's go find these... ...angle I went in, I might be able to actually charge. No. the other one that's, uh, alright, we passed the second one, though. Shield, okay. Triggered Viz, that, uh, really doesn't matter when you've already got that. Alright. So, Quebec, I think, has the invisibility on. Pretty sure. I don't feel as though I need this on right now, but it should be active for this turn. Let's have you fire at that one. Huh. That person has some armor class. Okay. Um, is it touch AC or what? I can't hit her because uh, I don't have C invisibility, but... Better than not taking the shot. Alright. Let's just go after this one first. Take out the easy targets. Stomping on, like, a Nixie that's just lying there. Okay, cool. Make sure we're sort of, like, right beside. Nice, okay. She doesn't really have a ton of stuff to actually fight us with, does she? <laughs> Alright, more blind. Um, well, if you're greater in visit, it doesn't really make a ton of difference for her. Uh, yeah, we took actually some dex damage and some strength damage. That's not ideal. Could just bone shake her. Well, if I can't hit, might have to do this, but let's just Bone Shaker. It's like free damage, basically. Um, can you use Eruptions here? The only problem is it's going to be real hard to use this without hitting a bunch of our own guys. Huh, or we just get lucky sometimes. Okay. Already blind anyway. doesn't stack, okay. They're just it's just desperately trying to get whatever it can. Uh, let's see, okay, Quebec being blinded actually kind of sucks, but... Don't shake her again. It's taking that little bit of chip damage every time. Oh, I should have been using the other one. I'm never gonna hit with this. Well, I missed anyway, okay. I like that magma looks like a rock. It's just a glowing red rock. This is going to take us hours, isn't it? Just going to be swinging misses for 
forever against this stupid nymph. <clears throat> it can't do anything to us either. Uh, this might be one of those moments where it would be useful for me to... Just turn it on to real time. Got it some of the way down. How long is that going to last on Jericho there? I need that to end. Huh. Thought these were 50%. Not 100%. Ouch. Okay, well that's different. Uh... God damn it. Alright. Definitely down half health now. It's just that all the people who are really good at doing that kind of damage are, like, incapacitated right now, so I can't use the people who are supposed to be doing that to finish her off or anything. Finish, finish being, like, whatever you are, I don't know. I should probably just move people away so I can, uh, start hitting with... Like, eruption or whatever. Still... Yeah, I'm gonna start moving things away so I can use eruption. initiative back behind there. Still as it is. Okay, well, uh, dog, you're pretty much out of the fight anyway. If you take a, wow, critical, it's kind of fine. This side's okay. I'm gonna be moving from the other side there. And uh, I'm not really capable of getting enough from outflank for Leopard staying here to be really that meaningful either. Okay, so... Um, regular old energy eruption, I think. Let's turn that off. Let's see if I can... No, I shouldn't be able to. Uh, let's do this. If I can get a trip, that would be useful. Master reflex save. Okay. Stunning glance to somebody. How long is that going to last? Four more, one more round. Okay, after that we'll be pretty much able to bone crusher our way to the victory here. Or maybe I'll get some natural 20s, who knows. Mathematically I should be getting some, you know. Especially here, like, some of these should net, you know, there we go. There, there's one. All right. Let's get in there and bone shaker. Still basically relying on her rolling really low, but... And things are starting to turn around on the natural 20s front. Lovely. Okay, um, so where I want to sort of find out if Elemental mental Assessor is uh, a touch attack spell or if it's just an auto hit. I think it's supposed to be auto hit. Oh, I can't get that far. Cool. Um, so I can't target her because she's invisible? I think I just didn't have enough movement. Ooh. Immune to Magic Missile, right? I forgot she cast that. A long time ago. All right, fine. All right, temp. Glad I took mercy to get rid of blindness. Like I'm very glad I have that. God damn it! All right, bone shaker. Alright, 
let's try this again here. It looks like it is an attack roll. So it's pretty bad for us because I don't have that much of an attack to begin with. I'm pretty sure it's a ray, but like even then, ooh. Alright, just keep erupting. Almost dead. <laughs> just knocks over a deer, okay. Right, that took a trillion years, but it wasn't strictly speaking hard, it just took forever. Alright, lay on hands, get rid of all this blindness. Are you blind? Yes. Okay, are any of the animals blind? Strangely enough, no. Okay. Okay, probably good enough. So this is one of the types of fights where I don't think the kineticist really adds much, but it's not as though she was a detriment or anything. So there is that to consider there. What are you? I'll take it all. Alright. Hoping that there's some more stuff here. Okay, well I was thinking chest, but this will do too. No traps. Spoke too soon, okay. I almost clicked on the wrong person to go find our traps for us. wonder if you can even do disable trap when you're blind in this game. I'd imagine you could, but it feels like it should be harder. Just a little bit there. I think we got a cloak resistance plus four. We did. Onto the tank it goes. Um, what are you honestly supposed to be doing with all of these, um, <laughs> all of these plus four charisma items? It's kind of weird to me. All right. Just how many of those we got. All right, let's get you. Get ready to use a big old wall here. Nope. Hallway, okay. What was the DC on that last trap there? 33, oof. Okay, but uh, with the bonus, I should be auto-clearing these, or I should be not detonating them at least. Yeah, that was a much lower one too. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay. Well, let's get Quebec up here. Let's have you drop down the magma wall. Hopefully not hit anything, because we want Quebec getting those shots off. It's funny that no one's just like, oh, that's, you know, interesting. There's this wall of fire up here now. We can just kind of keep casting it since it's free until someone walks into our line of sight again. Although, I'm gonna have limited duration on this one. Uh, also, do I have restorations? I just realized we're down on some stuff there. Uh, I don't think I've got any prepped. That's annoying. 
Did you have restoration? Uh, yeah, but we don't have it ready. Okay. Well, that's certainly annoying. There we go. That's stuff. Okay. Yeah, Shambling Man we have to take out pretty much immediately. Can't get a line of sight to him apparently. Hmm. Well, not a ton I can do from there then. Yeah. What the heck? Alright, I want you delayed till after dog. Let's see if we can get dog out of there. It's kind of in the way. Um, see if we can hit something else back there. Okay, we got that, which we wanted to. Looks like that giant slug back there got hit. Rolled a one, so it failed again. Okay, uh, it was it was showing me that dog could not move, and then suddenly it could. But all right, I wish you could rename these things. Oh shit, there's another of these guys. All right, well he passed our will save at least. Where is he? He's over there. All right, you're gonna be a problem, aren't you? Hopefully all these nature's allies run into the fire and die, that would be lovely. Okay, it, it is dog, I think, that's in the way of the rest of them. Okay. Um... I think if we get here, I might be able to hit that guy. I think we missed. But he's on our side of the wall now, so. That helps. Um, I was saying that I could do that. And then now it's not. Alright. Huh. Okay, Quebec. Let's have you do these first. I'm getting you back here just so I can try and get some people through there eventually. Uh, I kind of want Guarded Hearth out. It's, that stupid boogeyman is real scary. Alright, increased all our saves by 8, so... Much less likely to instantly kill me. Much less likely. Let's see here, we had. Um, I didn't have my bonus for uh, that. That's really stupid. That's weird. I need a 14 to pass that because I didn't get the bonus. Alright, we might be able to raise dead in time, but. Would love it if I could get there with this. Um, not going to happen this turn, though. Yeah, too much stuff in the way here. Might have to redo this whole floor, because I don't think I saved. Yeah, I can't get on that guy. Alright, Temp. Need you to get lucky here.
That was pretty lucky. Apparently this guy's just really tough. Um, could try to get unbelievably lucky, but I don't think I'm going to risk that. Uh, let's go with the Fire Snake here with the Maximize. Hopefully it doesn't hit the wall. Good, got that. I think uh, we've got enough evasion for this to be probably okay, but I don't want to hit the corpse. I don't know if it matters. Okay, Boogeyman saved, didn't take any damage. Great. Alright, got the reduction on that. Uh, yeah, not getting through there. Okay, I need to find a way over to there so I can use Breath of Life. Within two rounds. So I'll have a little bit of leeway, but not a lot. Uh, I need to move after you, because you'll get out of the way a bit. It's also possible I just have to use, like, a different raised dead spell type thing. Um, no, I'm not going to do that. Um, let's use Archon Zora just to debuff things. Ooh, he actually got affected by it. All right. Damn it. <laughs> I don't think I can make it there in time anymore. Alright. Fine. Um, let's just have you roll up with one of these, maybe. No, let's keep using this. It's a heart attack. It's not impossible. That's actually not that hard. I just have to roll up four. It's actually not that bad. Okay. Can't really do that that easily from here. Okay, we'll do the quickened uh, with the this thing. Okay, did not bypass the spell resistance very well there. Okay, well, we're going to have to wait for another day so I can re use Raise Dead. Oh, that got used on. Let's try it. Nope. Ah, uh, great. Alright. So I have to go ahead and re... I might have to redo this, actually, because I think that we lose levels, and I don't want to do bother, bother with that. No, actually, can I get rid of those with Restoration? No, okay. Okay, but how do I get rid of the permanence again? Is it restoration or greater restoration? It might be greater. Yeah, we might not have access to it. Spells temporary negative levels or one permanent negative level. There we go. So I just need some diamond dust. Okay. I'm trying to remember what I needed for this stupid thing. It's really annoying that I got Phantasmal Killer there to begin with, though, because, like, did actually 
I should have had a plus eight. I think we still would have failed, though. That's a fear effect. I should have had an additional plus four from uh, Paladin. Maybe for this area, I do actually think I've got a thing that I could be using here that I haven't been. Or of greater courage. Well, that would have actually been really useful. I don't think I did that uh, in... I, I don't think you would have been in the radius, though. All right. Let's uh, prep those spells up. Could also replace Quebec with uh, our other guy. If I've got a rest, I can't remember. If I can't rest, rather. All right, we need a raise dead. Which we'll replace one of those with. Then we need some restorations, which we'll uh, replace these with. I have to go buy a whole bunch of diamond crap. Oh yeah, we can't rest right now. Crap. Okay, so we'll just have to go in without Quebec and we'll bring in that other guy. That's fine, though. Okay, so I need diamonds and I need diamond dust. I've got plenty of diamond dust. Let's just buy two. Save us some time there. Okay. Okay. We'll come back and fix the rest of this later. Oh boy. I didn't take any drain. I should probably have gone into these fights drained. Get a little bit more to hit. Like that last one, I would have had plus one to hit if I had three points of drain. Actually, I would have more than that because I'd also have the dex thing. Oops, I forgot to not bring a corpse along with us. Um. There we go. Okay. So should get the option here. Swap. There we go. The other problem is that she might lose a bunch of levels doing this, but it's kind of annoying that uh, the timing of this worked the way it did. Alright, finding a rest point at this point might be a bit tricky. Without dying. I probably should have just redone the fight. Probably would have been smarter. I feel like this isn't working properly, Guarded Hearth. Oh no. Alright, this is a uh, quite the tight space to squeeze through. Oh, it's uh, one of these rooms, okay. Ooh, a new longbow. Just one right archer is dead. <laughs> Flaming plus two. Okay, cool. Uh, if I get to the next floor, I can also bring her back, because we'll get a rest point there. I think there's actually scrolls of Ray's dead. Alright, chaos shield or whatever the hell. Um, I just need to get everybody in this room a little bit. So we're getting gummed up at these doors a bit too much. Satter, Satter Warriors I'm actually not a little, not quite as worried about compared to some of the other stuff. Okay. Okay, definitely have everybody not run up then. Um, but Adrian, let's have you move up. Temp, you're going to gather power and blast that satyr. Best as you can here. Or do I want a wall? I might want a wall. Nah. Let's just try and kill him. Okay. God damn, that's annoying. Yeah. 
Did like no damage though. All right, well, uh, I think we get rid of this first. Okay, so we've got that apparently. Got our five foot step back there. All right. I'm gonna put walls on you guys here. Oh shoot, that was not what I was trying to do. Did I not click on the thing? I don't think I clicked on the thing. Alright, Smilodon's taking some hits there. It's enlarge. See if I can't sneak in there. Nope. That in fact made things worse. Okay. Let's just, uh. do this. I don't think there's there's three leopards from that crap. All right, well, all right. Looks like we got all the things we were trying to get there. We might have also got leopard, or uh, nope. Uh, yeah, we might have also got leopard. Okay. Yeah. I don't think there's anything I need there. I could litany. Kind of want to litany the ferocious smile on, but I think he's going to take damage at the start of his turn. I don't really remember. Let's just do it. What else am I going to do with that? All right. Okay. So it should take damage at the start of my turn. That was a strange angle, but okay. Uh, I'm gonna be stuck here for a while, aren't I? Hmm, thought that would've worked, okay. just not squeeze up onto that chair there, which is unfortunate. Okay, Hadrian, uh, I'm just gonna actually have you use these. Um, but yeah, there's nothing really to do from there. <laughs> Alright, Bear is also dead. Cool. Um... Yeah, that's kind of everything. This is going to get obnoxious real fast. Um, I don't think I moved far enough for this to negate, so... No, okay, let's just get some skeletons on them. This is where a dimension door would be handy. where having an archer would also be handy. Um, let's have you actually not go through the firewall. That would be lovely. Chuck one of these out. I don't think we need deadly aim right now. Okay, well that missed. Um... Probably cast shield or something. I'm gonna use. I don't know what. We'll test to see if she used shield. Oh, that's not good. No, she didn't. Okay. She. Did, I did walk into the fire though, so that's uh less than good. Let's try and get some resistances up, maybe. Or heal. 
Alright, bunch of blind skeletons. This is fine. Okay, I can just heal here. Probably keep Jericho at half, above half health, and we have to heal the Leopard as well, so save some time. Okay. This stuff is so loud. Okay, I really need to do something about not being able to hit those. Um, let's sort of maximize. Don't I have the uh, empowered ones as well? Let's cast these ones. I don't think that uh, they're having Empower work the way it's supposed to, but I'll take advantage of it. Empower's only supposed to deal um, the standard Empower damage, so, like it doesn't stack with Maximize the way you would want it to. I'm pretty sure it's stacking with Maximize the way you would want it to. Eventually these skeletons will probably actually kill her, honestly. But... Another one of those. I'm just gonna try the regular fire right here. Can't hit with the uh, more advanced one. I think we can um, empower this though if I'm gonna do that. No, no, that's not good. God, why'd you into the trap as well? Jesus. I forgot to do the extended range thing. Okay. So she basically can't move from there, so that's lovely. Ah. Uh, Eh. Alright, let's just do it. Okay, everyone... Temp, you stay still. How come these things don't take any damage from that? Okay, so I'm gonna call it a stream here. These people are stuck here. Uh, I cannot move at all with temp, <laughs> um, unless I want to run through a blade barrier and potentially die or whatever, but I probably wouldn't die, honestly, uh, but yeah, this is a bad spot to be in. Uh, but it's 4 o'clock in any event, so hope you found this uh, stream enjoyable. I had a lot of fun doing this, but um, yeah, we'll try and bring back poor, uh, poor Quebec, who has been our big damage dealer for a while now, just could not quite get through the door jam to get the breath of life to her, but yeah, uh, this is going to take literally 12 minutes to dissipate, so hope you found this episode enjoyable, and of course as always, hope to see you guys all next time. It will be again, um, it will be Thursday again next week, so we'll see you guys then.